Okay, there we go. Uh, Twitch is breaking for me. That's weird. Okay, okay. I changed the tile already. I changed the tile already. Twitch is right. Yeah. So, so, okay. Look. Sorry we're late. Kate hid all of our toothbrushes. All right. And now I'm way behind and flustered. And we're just gonna just gonna jump into it. La last I checked, there was um there was one fan art. So we're gonna skip fan art today, and we will we'll do it next stream on Monday. Sorry if more came in, but like I'm like. Okay. Uh. Streaming, not P, uh, a game called Al. Okay, there we go. Doesn't we go crazy? Doesn't go crazy? Stream three. It's it's stream four, isn't it? Isn't it stream four? We start on Tuesday, right? So Tuesday one, Wednesday three, Thursday four, Friday. For, sorry, Thursday three. Friday four, yeah, it's the fourth one, yeah, it's number four, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, I, I am also someone who uh, who forgets about that sort of stuff too, so don't worry. Okay. One upstairs, and my toothbrush was just sitting on one of the uh, of of the clothes chests that we have, and I'm like, why is this here? And then, oh, okay, the rest are missing too. So like, toothbrush scavenger hunt. She put toothpaste on them too before hiding them. And she refused to admit that she did it. What the hell's going on with Wizards of the Coast? All right, let's get into the game. God damn, I'm so far, I'm so f flustered. Sorry. Let's go 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 go. Hello fellow hygiene enthusiast, I recently used hair removal cream and now my unmentionables are really itchy. What did I do wrong? Um, well, I think the first thing is that you did that where you're not supposed to. Uh, I, I have never successfully been able to, to do hair removal in that area without it becoming an, an, an itchy hot mess. So, um, like, no, I don't, I don't recommend. There must be a way to do it. I'm not the person to talk to about that, okay? Hasbro's being super greedy. The people that make gummy bears? Where are we going? Are we doing this one here? I can't remember. Can we just go to the flowchart? What are we doing? I tried your piss sink idea and got expelled. Well, you don't do it at school and you don't do it for fun. You only do it if it's like there's, there's nothing else you can do. Auto save? Can we just auto save? Okay, 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 okay. Alright, I'm I feel like I need more I kinda wanna do this one. I won't, I'll stick to my guns. I kinda wanna do this one because I feel like I don't have enough information about how about how the timeline works in this game. So I'm curious, like if if I go here, right, and I do this this one, is someone else going to die? Is someone else gonna be the killer? And did someone, and, and even though this decision point came after this, does this cause someone else to have been the pun who killed Shoko? Because right now, I feel like any, any, any fucking, like, speculation I do, 
is just a waste of time because I, d I don't really understand what's going on with like why was Iris so guilty like for um whatever his face like like she she was the exact weight of of the person in the elevator and i know someone that, what i think it was was it alba or date that said you know someone else could have just weighed the elevator and then ran up the stairs i guess that's possible but i don't understand like so so i want to say that it's it seems like iris killed renju and iris killed shoko iris killed renju and so tried to kill iris so there's two killers in this side maybe but why i also was talking on dragon's den last night about this they never explained the chocolate how did the chocolate get into the warehouse with uh, Odo's Odo's mother's fingerprints on it. I, I'm confused about that. How does how does that happen? And this never explained. That's why I didn't. That's why I didn't like this ending um, for the story. And I, like I want to stress once again, I think it's fine that it's it's not super satisfying of a mystery conclusion because um, clearly you're meant to go back and do the different routes. Like this, I'm not done. This is not like optional time now to go into the different routes. Like no no no, this is part of the experience is going and seeing the, all different routes to get the the full picture. Um, so it's fine that it wasn't super satisfying from a mystery standpoint but i didn't know that until I, I until i got to the end here i thought maybe this might be an actual proper ending but no it's not um like like an, as an emotional ending between these characters it was fine like um i don't know like the the characters are so weird i like to see more of them first like just they're just so strange maybe it would have been better to get this ending not the first one so I, I i would have had more time to interact with mizuki with 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 that because it still already kind of worked but um I don't know. Maybe this was not a good ending to get first. Uh, but like, I'm I don't really understand how I'm supposed to be like piecing together a mystery here because like there there wasn't enough. Like I don't even know if the continuity is the same. Like I don't even know. Like it like the chocolate is the chocolate only a clue on this path, and it's not a clue on this path. Did the chocolate even happen on this path? Why was her mother there? Why was his mother there? How how does that even work? I like I'm I'm confused. There was something else that wasn't explained either. <sighs> anyway, let's go. Oh, sorry, my bad. It's this Somnium. Uh, begin sync or can you go to the case file? Mizuki, Okira, Okira merry-go-round, heal Mizuki's heart. Mizuki is mute. By healing her mental wounds, you may be able to get more important info. All right. You promised red, red, red line, right? Uh, this, this, I did. This is on the red line, right? We can go here. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Uh, do I have a coin? Let's flip a coin. Let's flip a coin. I don't have a coin. I'm, I'm really, really tempted to go this one because I, I bet you people were like, it's between these two. And there must be like, like, like an singular weeb that is like on, on the money for just the biggest monocoin payout in the, in the history of monocoin payouts. If I go to this one and do this one back, like it, like and it's, it's gotta be. It's gotta be someone. Someone is there, man. Like it, it would just destroy the whole entire monocoin economy if I went. If I went over there, pale tree happened. There's not. There's not a bet uh, again. What, you, what? The bet is over already. What bet? What bet? Oh, so it doesn't matter. Why are you guys all mad then? It doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter. All right, let's go. All right, okay, there we go. We're doing this one then. If it doesn't matter, if the bet's already done, then who co then Who cares? I don't have to do it. All right, here we go. All right, so what are we doing in this one? Thank you for convincing me, chat. What is this place? Oh, 
Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so last time we hit the TV. And this time we have to do the other one. All right. A CRT TV. CRT TV. Hit, spin the dial. Spin the, okay, you know what? You know what? I'm kidding. All right, I'm kidding. All right, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. All right, I can't do it. All right, all right. Okay, we've had our fun. We've had our fun. Let's go to the real one. All right, here we go. We've had our fun. Okay, so we're going we're going to the we're going to the the balloons, I'm guessing. I think that was the one. Okay, so we take this one. Pull out, right? Oh, where was this like the secret thing we can find? Is it in, is it an interactable thing or? The panda is in awful shape. Excuse me. Put back together. Kick away. Leave it to me. I am quite skilled at this. Or at least I thought I was. Your overconfidence is your weakness. It's not highlighted and it can only be seen from up close. Okay, so that has to be um, after we've cleared the whole area then, because that's that's when it, it showed up about the secret. Okay, so let's go into the control room. The control room of the. We just open it, right? What is your? All right, right bird cage. Agent Dante, A bird cage. You've got five minutes. All right, and we lift. This will be easy. Glad to hear it. You did this to yourself. Don't blame the game later when it when when it's bad. What do you mean? Of course I'm gonna blame the game. This is a legitimate. I could have done this path first. How is how is it gonna be worse? I've already seen an ending and played for fucking three streams, and you're such a fucking weeb fan that you're preemptively setting up a fucking like like a dome of immunity over your beloved weeb game. That oh no, this path is shit. But don't blame the game. You're supposed to do it last, even though it's fucking path number two on the list and you could have done it first like come on no what but it was so heavy but nothing happened oh what is this it's blue it's a deflated balloon blow it away okay can i go to the other one now a deflated rubber i told you please call it a balloon <laughs> What are you getting so worked up about? Blow up, eat. What? Yeah, you can put it in your mouth, chew it, and then blow it up like bubblegum. Pee it, pee I in it. I can blow it up normally. It's a deflated... Okay, it's gotta be blow up, right? Understood. And she got a bomb. I wish your boobs were that big. Whoa. Are you serious? Those are obscenely large for a human. You're not human. Well, I suppose I am not <laughs> technically human. So... Date, please, be quiet. I'm not hearing a no. the key blow it and you'll be free i remember now a story i heard from Mizuki a while back one time Mizuki was just a little girl shoko brought her a balloon bought her a balloon and then she just popped it right in front of her face like a psychopath oh you like that balloon mizuki here's a pin 
right in her face. It was one of those nice helium ones, but the string slipped through her hand. The balloon sailed up into the sky. Mizuki cried, and Shoko said, It's just a balloon, who cares? Shoko snapped. She scolded Mizuki for hours. Maybe that's why. Mizuki put the balloons inside the birdcage. That way, they could never fly away again. But I guess Alba and I made her relive a painful memory. <sighs> Alright, now that the birdcage is off, let's get Mizuki. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? If you stop time, you can go in, right? But I cannot stop time while I'm moving. Oh, right. Guess we gotta figure out how to stop it from spinning. Why is why y'all here so mean here? Why y'all here so mean here in chat? I'm gonna be mean to you for writing that sentence. What the hell is that? Are people being mean? I, I'm not seeing people be mean. Maybe I'm just immune to, to the meanness now. Hi, chat here. The parasol is spinning freely. Spin more. Breathe on. Stop. Spin more. Leave it to me. That's because oh, you're the biggest bully, Joe. I'm not a bully. I do not think force is the answer here. Oh. Wait, this is what we did last time. The parasol is sp spin more. Got it. The merry-go-round is going crazy. Stop it, quick! The rotations are linked. Mizuki is in there. Is she okay? If she hasn't passed out from the G-force, she's dizzy as hell. Yeah. So we, 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 breathe, is... we breathe on it? Breathe on. Breathe on. Apply directly Think to the forehead. Like a girl's skirt. Silence, Date. You don't breathe on a girl's skirt. Wow. Uh, what is this? Uh-oh. Merry-go-rounds can fly? Date, over there. Uh-oh. Why? Why is Iris? Who? Th she appears to be frozen. That's Iris? What the hell is going on? With like a bunch of ice pick wounds in her this? back? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Oh my god, chat was right. I'm so confused. Oh no! Oh man, this sucks. I don't know why. Why is Iris here? Oh man, this sucks so bad. This is the. Oh, this is the worst game now. This is the worst game. I'm s I hate this. This is so out of nowhere. Oh my god, I was having such a good time. We finally had a good weeb game on stream, but now it's ruined? Oh no, my stream. Oh damn. Oh, oh no. It, we were so close to having a good weeb game in the slot forever. We could always point back to it, but now, now it's confusing and I hate it. Oh no. Oh, what a shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why do you never keep quiet? Is this fun for you? Giving your mother a hard time? It's just what kids do, man. Here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you weren't here, everything would be fine. I'm sorry. Apologizing means nothing. Man, she's awful. Say something. Don't make me into the bad guy. But... What's that look, huh? Is she as bad as Joe? Whoa, let's not go crazy. Whoa. Whoa, let's not. Let's not go crazy, alright? Like, no. No. You! I wish you had never been born! Oof. Mizuki's voice. 
The other voice is likely... Damn. What's going on here? Iba, look out! What? Oh, we're dead. I was about to become a pancake. Even flatter you than you are ready. bed and breakfast. That frozen iris does intrigue me. But Mizuki first. Let's get to Mizuki while the merry-go-round is stopped. Agent Date, you've got four minutes. Capital J. C come on, you were all thinking it too. Come on. You were all thinking it plus two. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, where, where is this like secret thing I've, I've, I keep hearing so much about? No, I wasn't. Oh, great. I'm the pervert. I'm rapidly approaching the age where that's not adorable anymore. It was something about like there was like a time limit or something or... <sighs> I am pretty perverted, I'm not gonna lie. I passed it? Okay. It's on a bench. Thank you, Chatter. You have three minutes. Oh, okay. So it's not too. Let's see. How far away can I see it? Oh, so it is. It is the 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 pea flakes, the golden pea flakes in the air. Okay, so that I saw it last time in the other dream, and I couldn't get to it. All right. What is this? Joe, do you have an umbrella? Um. Yeah, I think we have an umbrella. I think we have a couple umbrellas. I can't remember the last time I used an umbrella, though. Usually, I just go out with my hoodie up. It's Mizuki. Had you gone this way first, wouldn't know who Iris is. Be weird. No, no, we've met, we we had met Iris before this. Give present, break the glass, speak kindly, encourage. I think I think we met Iris before this, didn't we? Give present. Uh, let's. Oh God, I don't know. Give present. A gift? Oh, that might work. Mizuki, now you can have a taste of the merry-go-round every day of your life. Terrifying. It will also improve your health. That's your gift. How was Alba able to lift that? You I'm so confused and I'm hating Hurry. it. I'm having a bad time. It's Mizuki. Who's Mizuki? I don't I'm not following this at all. Encourage. Speak kindly. Mizuki, can you hear me? We will protect you, Mizuki. We will always be there for you. Do 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 So it's all right now. Hey, do you think we can use that speaker? Maybe she needs to hear her mother's voice. No, 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 no. Date, are you an idiot? And then Date speaks. Hey, it's me, your mom. <laughs> mom loves you, Mizuki. I love you. There's no way. My mom would never say that. I am so glad that you were born. So, so glad. Hey. That's cool. Do you hear something? Is that a phone ringing? Where, where's it coming from? Date, don't! You can't stay any longer. Okay, so that was more interesting than the other path, but I don't know if it was better. But more happened in this one than just like, hey, we got through to her. I wonder if it's like like there's like nice and kind of interesting and then there's kind of mean and more interesting and each 
uh, each um, branch. Kaitai. We didn't see the, the blue figure this time. Yeah, it's true. Wait, no, isn't that... No, that is it. Yeah, 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 that was that one. Yeah, we didn't see the blue figure. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Are you okay? Asuki. She's just not going to talk this whole route. Uh oh. She hasn't been healed. She's still traumatized. Okay, put her in. We'll do it again. Oh, God damn it, Dante. Why can't she talk? I'm so confused. Iba, call Iris' phone. It's urgent. Why the rush? Please, just call. This is Konami Tate from the MPD. I met you earlier today. Okay, Are the o is the only reason that you're reasonably dressed is because then we don't get to see the scars that you have from someone treating you horribly? God damn it. Oh, Tate! Is something wrong? Where are you right now? Um, I'm at home. Okay, don't go anywhere. Alright. Lock the door and stay at home. Who's this? Can you tell me why? Who cares why? This is a direct order from the police. You mean a personal order? Ooh. Okay. But if I do, will you play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow? No. Yes. Then go on a date with me. A yes. date? If you promise me we'll go on a date, I'll stay home and not say a peep. If you don't promise me, then... <laughs> All right, understood. Understood? Great, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Fine, just don't go outside, okay? If anything happens, call me immediately. My number is... I have it in my history. See ya. Nice. Number what was one. that, a phone call? It's nothing. Do you know we were just talking to ourselves or something? Hey, Pewter. Peter standing with his hands in his pockets. Ah, the corpse you saw in Samia. You're wondering if that was some kind of vision of the future. Yeah, that's right. Well, let's see. As a oh, man of missing. science, I don't believe in such things. Prophecies and the like. However, if it was a prophecy, I would suggest the girl wear some kind of... Metal plate? Huh? You saw her. She was stabbed countless times in the back. She could have used some stab proof armor or something. Yeah, made of diamonds from Shovel Forge. <laughs> Just indulging in the fantasy of real life prophecies. <laughs> Don't mind me. Anyway. Prophecies are simply not possible. True. True colors. You see? Unless in the power of Somnium we can see into the collective subconscious and know everyone's decisions and that kind of makes something that can predict the future in a way that makes some sense in the dream-like, you know, amalgamation of all those thoughts and compulsions that we have and share. And we just don't know that that's how it works yet. It's a dream morbing bullshit. Metal shelf. Can make armor out of that. In a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. I can. Dreams are first person experiences. Okay. However, 
The circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. I know about the ringtone you heard, but I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Did Mizuki actually hear that? Or was it just a dream? Or her imagination? That's what I'm trying to find out. Huh. Can you analyze the sound or something? Unfortunately not. Where is this coming from? Oh, I see. This is about the body you saw in Mizuki Samyum. Can we see it? Yeah. Her name is Iris Sagan. Yeah, I know. The girl you went to Bloom Park with today. Sagan. How do you know that? Iba told me. It is one of my duties to deliver regular investigation reports. Prophecies, huh? That's why you called Iris. But, Date, come on. I know. A dream is just a dream. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with reality. But still, I just have this gut feeling. Date, are you alright? Do you think when, like... Anime writers decide on what their, their pun and, and uh, theme is going to be for their, their work, they just, like put up a picture of of like a body and just throw a dart at the wall and wherever the dart lands that's what they're gonna do oh there's gonna be a lot of focuses on eyes and eye jokes in this one and here we go oh this, this one in time I, I missed and it hit a fucking picture of a bear that was next to it so i guess that's what thing rampa gets all right oh no it hit the nose time to time to write write the the name of the title it's called N nostril only the the i is not capitalized the the o is lowercase as well the T is in is in a different alphabet, and and there you go, and you have to figure that out. There you go, I've done it. That's my new series. No colon st strill. <laughs> my God, nine out of ten. I really love the waifu and no strill. Perhaps the sink is causing negative side effects. The nosery game. The no 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 nosery. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here in the control room. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. So we know about everything you saw. My god, we go into the giant nose and it can tell the future. I call it my Nostradamus machine. <laughs> the phone, the frozen corpse. It didn't go well, but it's not all bad. The sink wasn't a total. I tell, I tell you, man, you could you could make it, and it's like a giant fucking nose shaped machine, and you, it requires two operators at the same time, one in each in each nostril port, and they get to climb it. Like I'm telling you, you can, it's just so easy. It just writes itself. Just fucking throw a dart at the wall, and here we go. What the we found clues. Quick to the olfactory. Clues. Yeah, there you go. Right. This is it's so easy. <laughs> Boss, I heard a ringtone in Mizuki's Somnium. I know. But I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Yeah. I don't even know if it's real or something Mizuki invented. But if Mizuki really did hear that ringtone... Then there must have been a phone somewhere on site. Did CSI report anything like that? No, nothing. They searched the site, but didn't find a single thing. Are you really not going to be able to talk the whole route? I couldn't help Mizuki get her voice back. She's sitting on the chair. She looks strained like an abandoned doll. Mizuki, I saw something strange in your dream. 
Iris. She was frozen. She was dead. What was Glass that? Eye. Tell me, Mizuki, please. Yes. Date, there is no point attempting to speak with her. Put her in. Let's try again. Why Mizuki can't we just try again? Zyphonia has not healed. Maybe it's a, a fake aphonia. A phony phonia. She didn't answer. Hey, Mizuki, tell me something. In your dream world, I heard a phone ring. Did you hear that somewhere? Or did you just imagine it? Date, there's no point talking to her. You couldn't heal her. Her symptoms haven't improved. She'll be sent back to the hospital. Maybe the doctors can help her. See the sink machine through the window. Really makes you feel like you have to pee. Mizuki, I have to ask you. You got a Nile message yesterday, and then you went to Bloom Park. Who sent you the message? I checked her phone, but the history was white. I am trying to identify the sender now, but it will take some time. I was asking Mizuki. 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 When we found you at the merry-go-round, you were holding the ice pick. I'm not accusing you of anything. I trust you. I just want to know why you were holding it. Answer me, Mizuki. Date, please. Yelling at her is counterproductive. Damn it. Mizuki. Imagine she really did kill her mom. Then the, then the rest of, of the route is hopefully helping her get away with it. A locker. Hey, Date. Remember that time you were blackout drunk? Which time? You thought that locker was a urinal? Uh-oh. Please don't remind me. Uh-oh. I think I'll go to Bloom Park again. Looking for the phone? It might be there. It might not. Better or worse? Just be way sure. worse. Way worse. Take care of Mizuki, okay? Yeah. Leave it to me. My uncle did that once when he was over, and and him and my dad got so drunk that they were just stumbling around the house, and he mis mistook one of my dad's like giant speakers, like like the kind that are in Date's uh apartment for a urinal, and he just pissed all over the speaker. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry as I remember that. I was only like, like 11 when that happened. Like, holy shit. How can one possibly be that dry? UK families, man. You don't, you don't know the half of it. Now the news. Yesterday night, the body of Shoko Nadami was found. Her body was recovered from the now defunct Bloom Park in the Kawasaki district. Autopsy reports revealed that her time of death was roughly 5 p.m. last afternoon. Did it make the piss louder? I didn't see it. I learned about it afterwards. I don't, I don't think anyone saw it happen. I, like, I think they just, you know, discovered the smell the next day and they just had to put two and two together. Like, or maybe my uncle sort of remembered doing it or, like, had some weird memory of, like, peeing in that room. I don't know, but yeah. I always thought that maybe he was jealous that my dad had bigger speakers than him and he just took it upon himself to to ruin the speaker when he was drunk. He was like, you know what, fuck it. I see an opportunity here. God, that's disgusting. Yeah, it is. It really is. Police have determined that the victim was killed elsewhere and then brought to Bloom Park to be put on display. The MPD has expanded the scope of their investigation and are encouraging anyone with any information to come forward. In other news, at 6.10 p.m. today, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway in Minato District, Tokyo. Stop talking about piss. The game's brought it up! Five cars and at least one truck. Yesterday, chat brought it up and the game brought it up. I'm not just sitting here like, oh, here I go, time for a piss story. Like, what the hell? As a result of the pileup, one man was sent to the hospital unconscious in critical condition. Six other individuals were treated for minor injuries. 
MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident oh, negligence. Oh, wait, hold on. This, the this again. The investigation is ongoing. Whoa, 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 hold on. When did this happen last time? When we took... We heard this when we took Mizuki to see Mama, right? Yeah, this is about the same time. Okay. Is that important? Or... Just join this new route. Yeah, we're doing the Oda route, I promise. It's a horse in the merry-go-round. Last night, music you saw in that column. Why was she in there? He is not. I am! This is the Oda route, like I promised. Is this not the Oda route? Oh man, I must. Sorry, you were right. I am so confused. I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm so confused right now. God, it just, just sucks so bad. A girl sitting in the passenger seat. A girl? Pass in, passenger seat? Okay, did, did this bug? There's no passenger seat. Ooh. Okay, now I genuinely am confused. Th this happened last time. Scream, scream boldly, warn, warn her. Excuse me, miss, but you shouldn't be here. This is private property. Wait, your body is transparent? Wait, ghost! Are you a ghost? Go, go, go. Idiot. I dislike ghosts. It's me. Who are you? Me? It's me. Me? Whom? I said me. Whomst? But are you a ghost? I'm not a ghost. All right, then I like you. Then, Iba? Did our uh, file come with us? Oh, it did. Okay, this is... I don't understand the context of these rewinds. But why? Maybe it's just for the player. I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. True. How are you doing this? I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. You can't see me through your right eye. Only your left. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. You do realize I do that all the time, right? It was somewhere around here, right? Where I heard the phone ring. Affirmative. The source can't be far. Wait, we're looking the phone for- must be nearby. We're looking for a I phone? I do not know if it actually exists. Dreams consist of memories. But that does not mean that they perfectly mirror reality. Kaniza didn't find it? In fact, it is more common that what occurs in dreams is distorted. For example, the events witnessed in the last Somnium were absurd, exaggerated, or otherwise warped. Clearly, they do not represent exactly what happened in reality. The ringtone as well. Mizuki didn't necessarily hear it. I understand that, but it's our only lead. Come to think of it, you look kind of like you do when you're insomnium. What's that about? What do you mean? Well, you don't usually look like that. You have a somnium form and another form. Oh, this? Yes, that. Why are you doing this now? I was bored last night, so... Huh? I thought you would like it. Why would I like it? Well, I did attempt to shape myself to your preference. If you could do that, change it. Oh, Be there's a lot of blah. repeated content. I will not. Why not? Can't skip. Because I won't. Hearing all these recycled dialogue because Joe picked the wrong route. We, we were going to have to do it eventually. I am connected to your brain via artificial nerve. I am part of your working brain. Our minds are one. Whoa. During the sync, when the data that constitutes your ego is transferred... That's kind of gay, isn't it? Some of my main programming is also transferred. That is why I appear in Somnium. 
Do I even need to explain this sort of thing to you? I have experienced sinking many times. True colors. Although it is true that I have never appeared to you in this form. As I mentioned earlier, I cannot say for certain if there was a phone here. However, if there is, it must be well hidden. Yeah, it's true. CSI has already searched the area thoroughly. And we think we're going to find it? But they did not discover anything. Well hidden, is huh? Is it in a horse's Maybe mouth? Maybe a place you can't see with the naked eye. Ooh. Activating smell o vision Take a deep breath and focus yourself, Hajime. Okay. Take in all the all the sense. Remember that smell is the is the sense that is most linked to memory. That is why the memory machine works so well and is the Nostradamus machine. If you smell hard enough, you can smell the future. Oh, here we go. Let me see. I need to analyze the surroundings. No, it's not there. In this horse? I really thought it was going to be in the horse's mouth. Okay. Why can't I leave? I want to be done. Can I be done, please? Oh, it's, it is. Okay. It appears to be a smartphone. I knew it was in the horse. Don't lie. You doubted me. That that was not bait. That was not bait. That blended in. I was expecting it to be like in the mouth. I didn't realize they were hollow. That was that was not bait. I did not see it. So how do I get it out? I cannot find any weaknesses or seams in the horse's body. Stick your arm through. The horse's neck does not detach either. Stick, go in there, there Alba. There must be some hole or something. I found one. That wasn't even. It wasn't meant to be funny. It was just a mistake. That's why it wasn't funny. It wasn't meant to be funny. Where? The mouth of the horse. That wasn't funny. The thing that wasn't had no intention to be funny. I might be able to fit inside. One moment. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Uh, oh, she did go get it. Nice. Yes. Good job, Iba. Oh no, we've been in the Nostradamus machine for too long. We're getting nosebleeds, and that actually means your your brain is bleeding internally because you're inside the nose and you're bleeding out not that you're actually getting a nosebleed although there is a symptom that will show up when you get one that your nose might bleed but don't get confused that's a completely different nosebleed that's nosebleed number one we're talking about nosebleed number two. Oh no i'm telling you man i'm telling you man. I, I could make this game i could make this game i could make this song? game the number is i told alba the number and she called it the results came back quickly. This is a rental phone. Okay, a is rental. it is it Oda's and he lied? Is unknown. It is registered under a false identity. Ooh. Come on. Okay. Date, look at the device history. It's gone. No outgoing call history. What about the incoming history? Only one call. 9:02 p.m. yesterday. Mizuki and Ota discovered the corpse at approximately 9 p.m. Mizuki must have heard this phone. That would connect to what we experienced in Somnium. Who is the caller? Their name isn't displayed. The number isn't in their contacts. In fact, there are no contacts. Oh, no, no numbers at all. The phone had no email addresses or browsing history. There could be a clue either. Just the one clue, the call at 9.02 p.m. So 9.02 p.m. to call Shoko here, or I, I don't know the timeline. Something to do with that, and then he dumped the phone, just a burner phone for, for one use. This number is also from a rental phone. Excuse me. No owner is registered. Ow. Oh. What happened? The battery died. Oh, no. The screen turned off. 
Just charge it. Okay. Can't be helped. Let's let's leave. Done. I supposed to do baiting he's baiting he knows what to do he's baiting totally bait. oh yeah there you are okay Iba remember the number I just gave you of course call it, call it. yeah Iris Iris's mom it's connected hello it connected uh my name is Kaname Date. I'm with the Metropolitan Police Department. Uh oh. Are you up. an idiot? Yeah, you're dumb. Yeah. They hung up. Yeah, what oh, the hell? You think so? Yeah. What kind of low IQ ignoramus calls a suspicious number and says they are from the police? Yeah. I couldn't help it. I wasn't ready. I, I just said the first thing that came into my head. You're dumb. You told me to call. I didn't think it would work. Disappointing. There is no other word for it. You're telling me. Call it again. <laughs> Ida, can you call yeah, it again? Call it again. I'll be ready this time, I swear. Are you sure? Yeah, trust me. <laughs> the number you have dialed is no longer in service. Still gonna say hello, this is not uh call deny. Oh no. Call deny? Yeah, call denied. Oh, the thing Reka from the Cabaret Club did to your number. Oh damn. Damn, you remember that? Damn. Call it again. Call Reka. Unknown, but it does appear to be deliberate. <laughs> did the culprit do this, or did someone else? And for what specific purpose? What? Why? I want to hear her voice. She put you on call deny. Can't you try from another line? I can, but I won't. Use a payphone if you want to call her. Whoa. Jealous? I don't have my own phone. As long as I'm within range, I can use Alba to make any call I need to. Whether it's a traditional line or an aisle message, I can have Alba help me. Alba is connected to my mind wirelessly as well, so even when she's outside of my eye socket, I can talk normally. Who's the person we call? I don't know. Probably someone involved in the incident. They it's hung up as soon as they heard you mention the police then refused further incoming calls. That behavior is at the very least suspicious. Near 3rd Street, Shinjuku. That's a wide range. Can you tell if they called from a smartphone? They did. I can tell from the number. Does it have GPS? What? The phone is likely capable of that function, but it has been disabled. Can you tell that? The power also appears to be off. I cannot connect from any line. I guess you can. Because you blew it. <sighs> it's true. Yeah. It's true. Why did you do that? There would be no point to that now. The recipient is alerted to our presence and likely on the move. Right. Iba, let's get going. There's nothing more here. Where are we going? Iris's house? Yeah. Curious about your prophecy, absurd. It was nothing. Let's hope so. Uwu, time to go on a date, Miaster. Follow your nose. Do 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 do. Coming. Did you check the date? It's time for your date with Date. Speakers. Hey system. Iris, do you like bigger speakers or smaller speakers? Uh, bigger, I guess. Could you say I like them big? Why? Please. 
Uh, I like them big. <laughs> Again, please. I like them big, Date. Thank you. You are a despicable man. You know that. See, again, to me, that that wasn't horny. It was just funny. I don't why I don't, but I feel like if that had been VLR, I would have been I would have been like, what the fuck? But for for some reason, is it the is it Date's delivery or I don't know. A wooden shelf. I don't think it is me. I really don't. Me, it, it, it's possible. I don't think so. A plant. I might just be getting used to it. I have played a lot of these games. You can see the trees in the sky outside. It's for lighting. Telephone in the corner. There's a missed call. There's a drawing on the wall. Did I draw this as a child? Man, you're a terrible artist. Comforter, a comforting soda, sofa. It's a sofa, and it's comfortable. <sighs> Date, what are you doing? Just needed a quick whiff. Okay. Okay, that one was kind of bad. <laughs> sort of like a sort of like a non-alcoholic wine. Oh, that's that's actually a pretty good line. God damn it! All right, lights are on, but nobody's home. A microwave, kitchen counter. Hey, Iba, what kind of furniture always catches a cold? An absurd question. Inanimate objects cannot be afflicted by viruses or bacteria. Lick my balls. You can at least let me tell my joke. L A I G M A, my balls. Or is it lick my? Lig oh, lick my! Lick, lick my ball. Oh, lick my ball. Now it's just, now, oh, nice. All right. Hey, how's it going? Date, you have confirmed that Iris is safe. Are you done here? I know, I know. How are you? I'm hop, hop, hoppy, happy. Hop, hop, hop. Rabbit goes hop. Oh, I got cat ears then. Why do you ask? Oh, well, fake bunny see. girl. Because I saw your dead body in a dream. Are you seriously going to tell her that? Yeah, I will. Yeah, I will. You hush. Hmm? By the way, where's your mom? So it seems like in this one, whenever he's talking to her, time is actually passing. But you ever notice in like... Um, uh, Dexter is the one that comes to mind. You ever notice in an episode of Dexter how much in the middle of a conversation Dexter will stop and narrate and talk to, and think to himself? And I just have to wonder sometimes, is, is the other character just off camera right going, hmm, all right, well, this is an awkward silence. Like, if, if you if you muted every time that Dexter thought in his head, he's he's so sus, like, so much time passes. So I'm guessing that's that's not the case for for Dexter, even though he still kind of moves. But in here it is. Yeah, time is passing. She left earlier. She got a Nile message from someone. She looked kind of panicky too. Where did she go? Uh, don't know. She didn't tell me. Uh oh, that's kind of sus. Date, you came. Oh God, no, but no. Oh, aren't thank you, you a little early? Dante huh? always comes early. You said you would play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow. No, I didn't. I did promise to go on a date with you. Tomorrow? It's not even midnight yet. I kept my promise by staying home, so you need to keep your promise, Date. Okay. Oh, did you want something to drink? Okay. Doesn't work well when I when I predict the joke that they're gonna do and then they don't do it and then I look like a goddamn pervy psychopath. God damn it. 
just missing all these shots. Just like, what, 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 like just reverse Wayne Gretzky today. Like seriously. No, like, sorry. I should be going. Yeah, we just stopped by to smell your Waiting fucking already? shoes. Yeah, I have some work to do. Yeah. Well, will you at least watch my stream at one? In the morning. Stream. stream. Don't you remember? I'm an internet idol. And you're gonna stream online? Yeah. At one in the morning. Yeah. What are you playing? You're a young woman. You shouldn't stay up so late. Whoa. Oh, jeez. You sound like an old man. Because he is an old man. No, he's nice. He's 30. It's fine. Today isn't for work. It's just a personal stream. Oh. That's not the issue. Not on Twitch? And tomorrow is Sunday. The day isn't the issue either. Anyway, please watch, okay? Okay, you can get murdered I'll on stream. I'll ask you about it on tomorrow's date. It's gonna be a polar bear in the background during the stream. Be like, oh, look, she has props and a character in a suit. Wait, what is the polar bear doing? Why was the polar bear holding Oda's mother's knife? Is that just how it presented itself in the dream? Just like a dream connection? Knife, knife, that's the knife he knows? Because it called attention to the knife. And then it was like, that didn't fucking go anywhere. Like, what? Fine. Date. I have been thinking. Uh oh. I am glad that nothing bad happened. God damn it, Yoshi. You're like in rare form today. It reeks in here, my dog. What the hell? God damn it. It's like something died. Yeah, you're right. Because sometime real soon. I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. Yeah, and stink up my basement. Iris's words came to me. I stepped down hard on the accelerator. Day three, Sunday. Go Yukai. Oh no, the machine is congested. You're gonna have to use one of the tissues. T tissue tutorial. Tissues result in a faster time whenever you interact with something in the Nostradamus machine. Some tissues are bad though. Some tissues are already damp. You can only use tissues once or one use only. Oh no. Hey, handsome. There would be no point. What? Let's not. Okay. Wait, what? Alba, Alba's outside my eye socket right now, but I can still see through her as though she were in my socket. Imagine only using tissues tissues once. Yeah, tissues tissues are one use only unless you're using like like for I don't know. You can you can use a tissue and then fold it depending on what the damage was I think. But like we learned yesterday that some people in chat don't even clean their nose. There's a handsome devil. Would I be an angel? That's a tough one. In any case, a gorgeous man is is in Alba's sight. I look crazy. Let's not. I don't want to talk to myself like an idiot. Absolutely not. Let's play a word game. Okay, bring it on. Say white ten times. White, 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 white. Think of your favorite cabaret girl. Now, what does a cow drink? Water. Milk. What? Why was the cabaret girl a part of that? Man, Mizuki's voice loved Christmas trees. Too bad it's not gonna be here. Alba is sitting on, on the desk. Okay, I wanna. Okay, anything stand up? Date, you promised to go on a date with Iris yesterday. What exactly are you planning to do? What? Seriously? It's a social date. A man's promise is his bond. You absolutely must keep your word. Have you ever heard of a white lie? So you're gonna act like it never happened. That's not what I said. The day's not over yet. If I go see her and socialize for a bit, that's a date, right? W what is this loop? Oh, so you are not planning a real date then? No, of course not. If you say so. You almost sound relieved, Iba. You like her. Are you jealous? Oh, uh, in 
impossible. Oh, she I is. I'll never be jealous of a silly little human like her. Oh, we're in. Uh huh. Sure. How big can she get? Like, is this is this a holographic form that the eye is like hovering in, or like is this actual like like uh, like what is this? Did they explain that? There are many points of interest surrounding Mizuki, but we will need to. Why am I being Joad? I want to know the logistics of like what she is capable of. Like, could she like grow to human size and kill someone? She's five in computer years. She's fucking the uh, thousand and thirty-seven. Like, who knows? Like, I hope she gets better soon. I am watching the case file of Shoko Nadami as it is updated in real time. Currently, it appears as though there has been no significant progress. Hmm. Hey, Date. Why not go to that bar you haven't been to in a while? The bar? Marble in Golden Yokocho. Did, no, but seriously, did did they explain what this is, or is this is just kind of like, yeah, whatever, she can do that just for fun? Like, can she, uh, is that like a physical thing? She, I guess she was sitting on uh, Mizuki's lap in the ending. I see, Mama runs marble, she's an informant who knows just about everything, there's no criminal on the ground. Maybe she knows something. Boss is sitting at the desk about Mizuki. She was returned to the hospital after the sink. Oh yeah, she did pick up the cell phone. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so she can't. She can. She can definitely manipulate things, and she has some amount of strength. It didn't look. Look, look. She was picking up the cell phone that easily, though. So yeah, she can manipulate some objects and everything. Okay. All right. She'll probably be hospitalized for a while. Hmm. Strange. Mizuki's phone is at home, Date. The GPS and Wi-Fi access point confirm this. She went home by herself? Possibly. But why? Unknown. I asked HQ to look into it. They found a few things. First, the owner was Shoko Nadami. It was Shoko's phone? Yes. Her face was registered in the phone's facial recognition authentication. Who called the phone? Sorry, we don't know that yet. They called from a burner phone. They didn't register a name. I can make a deduction with this information. We know that the phone belonged to Shoko. Right. Whoever it was made their call at 9.02 p.m. After Shoko was killed. I believe we can make an assumption here. The caller probably wasn't the murderer. I don't think AIs have an infantile, an infantile stage. I think they can always consent. Otherwise, toys connected to your phone would be morally illegal as well. Lamaya, what world do you live in, Chatter? What the fuck are you cooking? What the hell are you talking about? Is this a line from Jojo? What what is that? What? They're not wrong. What do you mean they're not wrong? Maybe they're not wrong about the AI part. Like if you if you like snapped your if you had a genie and you and you wished the genie to make a, a a copy of me appear next to me, even though that copy is like three seconds old, it's still a copy of a thirty-seven year old man who hates himself. So yeah, but w w it's the second part that I'm confused on. What you, what what are you talking about? Stuff hooked up to your phone. What? Are you insomnium? What the? Why would they call the phone of the person they just killed? Maybe. But the culprit might have been trying to get Mizuki to call, so that they can bring her to the scene. But then why hide the phone? They would have left it somewhere easier to find. True. But either way, our mysterious caller is suspicious. Consider this. They did not register the phone under their real name. And also, they hung up as soon as Date mentioned he was a cop. This stream is and just wild that, today. 
They blocked Dante's number. I'm uncomfortable. Off the phone. I'm not having a good time, chat. You guys are right. Let's go to the other route. You guys are right. I'm not having a good time. It was, it were, it's the cursed route, all right? Let's go the other can we, can we go? Can we come back to this later? No, it's going to ruin the flow chart, isn't it? God damn it. All right, let's just keep I fucking working. Cutting his salary. I'll salary cut cutting noises. Battery. Do it. I'll plug in somewhere. Anyway, Do you it. have to identify the caller. If you don't want your salary cut. <sighs> Fine. All the history's been erased. There's nothing on the phone itself, but we can still look up its records. I happen to have a friend at the cell company. The head office is looking into it now. There's been no progress, as usual. The people at the main office are so incompetent. The smartphone you brought in yesterday is still our only lead. Hopefully there'll be a breakthrough. About Renju. Renju? Yesterday I told you he vanished after he was questioned. Well, we found him. Where? Central Hospital. God, God damn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Half of my mind is just like stunlocked by the idea of a weeb asking for consent from one of their toys. Like I, I, I'm just like, like, like one whole fucking hemisphere of my brain is just like, just I, I like. Oh my God. Oh fucking hell. Okay, okay. I need to clear it. It's just like what, what the shit. <laughs> oh, all right. Just flush it out. <laughs> he was brought there from a traffic accident. He's unconscious and it's not looking good. Could it be? Could it be? Capital Highway? Oh, you heard about it? We heard the report on the radio last night. I can't believe it was about Renju. My lady, my body pillow, do you consent to this dance? Date, you should go talk to him. He is Shoko Nodami's former husband, after all. He might have some information. But he's still asleep, isn't he? Smack him across the face and wake him up. You're his friend, right? He'll understand. <sighs> Come on. I have three places to check. Central Hospital where Renju is. I don't know if he's in any condition to top but it might help. Go back and see Mizuki with the phone and also go to Marble. Last time Marble made made us proceed, so let's go there last if that's on the list. I could also go home and see Mizuki again information from Mama at Marble. Iba, let's move. Oh, you know what? Roger Maybe that. it's Renju this time. Definitely going home first. What? Sagan, Iris's mother. What? Yes, but why? Oh, Date. Sorry for showing up like this. Mizuki, what are you doing? What's it look like? Bench pressing. Oh, she can talk can now. Talk. Yes, she's no longer mute. Oh, okay, that's good. Is this a dream? I received a Nile message from Mizuki last night. Rachel Amber? Teacher, can you please help me? I understood right away. The girl's been through so much. I couldn't say no to one of my students. You're her teacher? That's right. Mizuki is in my homeroom class. Didn't you say you saw her somewhere with somebody? Oh, I can't, I can't remember. Okay, okay, whatever. I went to the hospital to pick her up. She left earlier. She got a Nile message from someone. Mizuki wrote a note saying that she wanted to go home. Not to Renju's house, but here. So that's the story. I apologize for coming over without asking. 
You didn't go on my computer, did you? PC. You're a studious man, aren't you, Date? Oh. I heard from Azuki. Yeah. Whenever she's not around, you're always on your computer, watching training videos. Yeah. Training videos? Yeah. Yes. A female secret agent caught in the enemy's hideout or something. Ah, yes. Yeah, that. Right. But Mizuki, did you watch that movie? Only the title. Don't touch my computer without asking. Yeah. Or without asking the computer for consent first. I have lots of training videos on there. Animal husbandry videos. I keep a bunch of documents there. This oh, it's nothing special. It's not top of the line. I only spent a couple million yen. Oh, so it's cheap. That's good. I spilled soda on it on accident. Oh, you should hear what my you uncle did. What? That's what's its name again? Yeah, that's Anna Rabbit. Sorry, I'm you skipping. Gave it to Mizuki on her birthday. I'm just waiting to hear voice and then you I don't stopped. I have to tell her that. I'm sorry. Date, I'm sorry. I looked inside your fridge earlier. Uh-oh. Why do you have so much meat in there? Oh, I'm on a diet. You see, I'm... I'm a recovering vegetarian. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I am impressed you actually got a laugh. Oh, man, we're in. We're in. In just a few months, she'll need a bigger backpack. They grow up so fast. Okay. I don't want to waste my precious time and brain power thinking about what clothes to wear every day. A lot of successful businessmen sign to do it. Okay, honestly, me, Mizuki, and I do other outfits. We just keep them somewhere else. Okay, I think that's the same line as, as last time. But it's, I uh, see you two hang your clothes side by side. That was a little different. We get along well. No, we don't. How long do you plan on doing that? Until my muscles are screaming at me to stop. You there yet? Nope. Not even close. My muscles are laughing like this is nothing. Date, I would not push Mizuki while she is in this state. You got any questions about this? You may end up killed via head injury. Kids, right? Like, oh. Yeah, you're right. You won't believe... Uh-oh. When I started talking to her, Mizuki re-racked re, re the weight. Well, shit. We just lost a lot of dialogue. Mizuki, Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Hey. Bad personality? It was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does it sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. <laughs> so did, 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 so, so Renju killed Shoko and was like, you know what? I remember some, some killings a while ago. I'll just, I'll just pretend it's one of those. Like scoop up the eye. All right, here we go. Yeah, that was someone like that, right? All right. They're going to think it was that killer. Who gives a shit? And then do, 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 do. And then later on, Iris is like, 
You know what? I'm gonna kill Renju, and then I'm gonna kill Renju. Huh, you know what? If I scoop the eye out, they're gonna think it's the same fucking copycat killer and not someone else. It's gonna be the same killer. They're gonna be looking for the same. Uh, -da -da -da, poop it out. And then later on, fucking So in a polar bear costume in the stream is like, yeah, I'm gonna kill fucking Iris. You know what? I'm gonna scoop the eye out like the other two did, and it's, 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 <laughs> they're gonna think it's the same fucking killer. Just, da -da -da -da. It's just the next murder. Just, just everyone just. And it worked! It worked! Like, what the fuck? This bad shit. Is it really Renju? Because it really feels like it was Renju, and it really feels like it was Iris on the other one. And I guess it was So on the other one. I just I just don't see how So did this. It's fucking daisy chain of, of fucking, like, just fucking copying each other. Just, uh... It's... It's a Shimano off. They're all just all Shimano just pointing at each other through. I knew that you were gonna pretend to be the the eye the, the Cyclops killer, and I knew that you like what the. Fuck? But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect. So. Oh, he's guilty for sure. So you kept quiet. Yeah, my dad's never said anything like that to me ever. That he was counting on me. I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Loom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime rate there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. Okay, going and talking to Renju after this is going to be really interesting then. Why was he there? If, if he didn't kill her. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks to you. Well... Not exactly you. Hey, I tried. It was teacher who stayed with me all night. You have a daughter, by the way. We're going on a date tomorrow. Are you okay with that? I couldn't. It's not like we have conversations about our day anyway. Because you don't talk. Because you don't listen. Is Joshi farting or snoring? Neither. He's kind of... Yelping in his sleep, he's kind of dreaming a little bit. He's like, rrr, 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 li li that kind of thing. I'm sorry if it's distracting. I can't really stop him from doing it. She's my teacher. She's special. She's daddy's friend and Iris's mom. Sometimes I have dinner at her house. She's extra nice to me. Okay. Oh, I know I shouldn't be. I should love all my students equally. But I don't. But I see Mizuki after school sometimes, and she just looks so lonely. I can't help myself. When I got there... She has a cute pout, huh? The ice pick was... It was... It was Ooh. stuck in my mom's eye. Is Mizuki's pout cuter than Chiaki's pout? Ooh... Ooh, that's a tough one. Who has the cuter pout? No way. Yes. Oh, chat's pretty split. I couldn't think straight. I. The only thing I could think was, I had to get it out. So you pulled it out. Yeah. After Ota ran away. Yeah. Did you hear any sounds? Sounds. Like a ringing phone. Oh, I think I did hear something like that, but I don't remember where it was coming from. I just got scared and ran into the column. The door was open a little, so... Confirmed. The call at 9.02 p.m. It must have been the phone inside the horse ringing. I don't think so. Her eye socket was empty? Yeah. Thanks. I'm sorry to have to ask you stuff like that. It's okay. So it Why? was not Mizuki who took the eyeball. Why stab the eye socket afterwards? It's weird. No, it was already gone when she got there. That eyeball has yet to be found. It was probably taken by the culprit. No, I'm right. It has to be the same killer that killed that killed Shoko and and um and uh 
Renju because it was they were dramatic about it. There was a flair to it. You know, they were on display. I guess the stream was also kind of displayed too, unless that's also part of the of of the copy. They knew it had to be there had to be some like dramatic element to it. I don't uh, I don't know. That's whatever. Let's keep going. What's wrong with Daddy? You haven't heard? Heard what? She does not know about the accident. Oh, who's who's winning? Oh, Mizuki is taking it. Damn. 61% to 39%. It's still pretty close for who has the cuter pout. In light of the autumn days coming through the window. Okay. X-ray. Uh oh. Uh oh. Date, something catches my eye. Hitomi's right shoulder. Use the x-ray. Why? You'll see. Does she have prosthetic? She's a little quiet, but she's a very clever girl. And more than anything, she is kind. Kind? When I'm carrying heavy bags, she'll come and help me without me asking. When I'm troubled, she'll sometimes pick flowers to give to me. Not that she has a perfect disciplinary record, but she's a good girl. What's on her record? There are a few incidents. Once, she let out all the frogs that were going to be used for science class. Another time, she punched the bully so hard that he chipped a tooth. Sounds like more than just incidents. But I like that about her. What? She's a little clumsy. And just like Renju. Okay. Yes, elementary school. I didn't know you taught at Mizuki school. I didn't know Mizuki was living with you. I knew about her circumstances with Renju, but... Wait. Elementary school at... At 12? Was her teacher... Did I miss something? Or is that different different naming convention? Or... Six, six, okay, sorry, I, in, in the UK, I was already, I was already in high school at that point, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, the primary school, I think is, maybe that ends, wait, hold on, Canada is different too, Canada has like, like, three levels of school. High, yeah, I'm pretty sure they called it high school, like, it's, it's, it's different. Like, I, primary school was, was over. I think it was in my last year of primary school. Not elementary school. It's called primary school. Primary school, the, like, ended, I think, when I was when I was 10. And it was, like, 11, 12. I was in high school. And, and, and that's the school I was in until until 16. And then school was over. Like, you you, you could be done school at 16 back back then. Um, uh, I didn't. I went to Canada after that. And I continued into two more years. Uh, and I could... If I stayed in the UK, I would have continued for another two years in, uh, in the UK. Yeah, but GCSEs are like done at done at 16, and you do A levels up to eight, uh, up to 18. Um, that's how it was back then. I'm not sure if that's that that's the same way. In Canada, I'm pretty sure you have you have elementary school, and then there's like a school between high school and elementary school. I don't know if it's called middle school, but that makes sense. And uh, so I guess she would she would be in middle school. So I, I guess in I guess in Japan, it's just like one elementary school that goes on for longer, and then you go to high school. In uh, UK at the moment, start secondary school at eleven, turning uh, turning twelve. Yeah, there you go. That sounds about right. I was one of the oldest in my class because uh, I'm right at the the end of the year, and that's that's when the the uh, the cutoff was. Um, there there was someone in my class that I was almost a full year older than, almost, not quite, but almost. I think it was like there was like nine months between us, so I, I was a little older going into it. He described you as a relative. But I suppose not. Mizuki explained the situation to me. Mm. 
Not a legal guardian, but that's why I've never been to school with her or anything like that. Really? That was all left to Renju. He might not be any good at raising her, but he is her father. This is still so weird to me. He takes care of all her official stuff. That was one of the conditions for me make for me taking in Mizuki. How'd you get her talking again? You know what? I actually don't know. She just started talking. I didn't do anything special. I just held her against me. Held her? I was hugging her close to me all night. When dawn came, I heard her say, Teacher. And then she started to cry. What? Did we miss the stream? As you can see, she's fine now. She had a lot bottled up. It came out with the tears, I think. Is it just is it just coincidence that you're Mizuki's teacher? You said you and Renju knew each other from high school, right? Yes, at Eitoku High. And you work at the public school here? That's right, a district elementary school. Is that a coincidence? You becoming the teacher of your friend's kid? Well, I hadn't always planned on being a teacher, but... It wasn't a coincidence that Mizuki ended up in my class. Renju seemed really intent on sending Mizuki to a school where I was teaching. Hmm. They even moved to get into my school district. What that the hell? That was about five years ago, in spring. Before the divorce? Yes, but I heard that Shoko didn't have a problem with the move. Officially, Mizuki lives at Renju's house. Her local elementary is actually pretty far from here, my house. Poor bus driver. Mizuki takes the train every morning to get there. The train? Really? Damn. That's a plate of medical grade titanium in her right shoulder. Oh, that's what you're looking at. Oh. This is terrifying. It told me it has a metal plate in her right shoulder. Okay. Okay, um... Hitomi, what the fuck? Oh, does it bother you? Can you not move it? No, I can't even feel it, I'm afraid. Do you know there's Was a metal- there an accident, or- Do you know about it? I suppose you might call it that. About six years ago, I was shot in the shoulder. Six years ago! Died and... Anyway, the story is, one day a criminal broke into my house. Oh! It, it, it's something that... Oh. W wait, is that... Okay, that's not us. I mean, it could be us. He was carrying a gun. And the way he talked, he sounded insane. Drugs? Drugs? Maybe. Yeah, it the could be. The police statement said that he wasn't under the influence of anything. Just a random crime. What? The dream I saw. This route's interesting, chat. What the guys? You, what the fuck were you guys talking about? What the guys were you fucking about? The dream I saw. Yeah, we should be having a lot of questions right now, right? Oh god, what, what, this is just the longest neck. What the hell? Anyway, Mizuki has recovered from her aphonia. Isn't that wonderful? Anyway, yeah, okay, yeah, let's just yeah. gloss over that. That we had the. Yeah, okay. I did not know that Hitomi was Mizuki's homeroom teacher. Yeah. Hmm. Is there something wrong? No. It's nothing. Sojo, you are so confused. You're signing like it's true. Yeah, I'm confused. I'm having a good time. I'm confused. It's a Wii game. I'm not supposed to like these. I was told that the only Wii game I'm ever gonna like is Thirteen Sentinels. Thirteen Sentinels. Why? Thirteen Sentinels is gonna suck. It's gonna suck. I'm telling you right now. Okay, last time going to Marble did it. So let's go to the hospital.
<laughs> Waifu alert! A window! A nurse is standing there. There's no one here. Indeed. The bed is empty. Bedside table. Headlight fable. Oh. That's not even a thing. Dante, look! Sabako is coming out of the TV! Who? How was the ring such a big cultural thing? I don't think a movie has ever scared me more than that, by the way. Like, I was really young when I saw that movie. I don't, th I don't think a movie has ever scared me more than that, seen in the theaters. Although, um, the spo spoilers for the ring. Spoilers for the ring, okay? Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. The American version? Of course the American version. I haven't seen the original. This is the first time I'm learning about the original. Spoilers for the ring. When she came out of the TV at the end and looked like bad CGI Yoda, I, like, it was ruined and I lost my shit full-on Joe laugh in the theater. Like, like, that ruined it. Like, that was so funny when she, when she fucking crawled out of the TV. Like, like, like it just, everything just deflated. It was not scary at all anymore. Um, but before that, it was pretty scary. It had a pretty good jump scare. And I found the, the, the video itself that they showed, like, with, and then the call seven days. Like, like, the video was actually really creepy. Surreal stuff really, um, uh, uh, works on me. So it's creepy. Another time you laughed at Yoda instead of... Yep, yep. The other time was when I actually did laugh at Yoda. And I almost got thrown out of the theater. Because I was laughing so hard at, at Yoda jumping around at the end of Attack of the Clowns. Yep. Could, could not stop laughing. Like, think of the hardest I've ever laughed on stream. It was like that. Like, just the whole sequence. Just, just laughing my fucking ass off in the theater. When, like, it was just so funny. <laughs> and there's just... He's not here, as you can see. Oh. I could think of something fun we could do later. Ooh, not feeling it. Mr. Okiura's room. I'm certain of it. I'm a nurse. I work here. I'm assigned to Mr. Okiura. He snuck out at night. Snuck out? Mr. Okiura arrived with internal injuries. The surgery was successful, but he was in no condition to move. He would have opened up his wounds, and then he would be in real trouble. Real trouble, huh? Yes. I can't believe it. Where could he have gone? Renju is extremely suspicious. Wait, hold on. Chat, I've... Why does Renju have wounds? What, what did Renju do? What? Oh. What what I I'm confused. Car oh he was in the car accident. Oh was he? That the car accident was him. All right I'm sorry I complete like 100. I I completely fucking missed that. Sorry, sorry. I really am trying my hardest to pay attention as I always do when we play these games and all games on on the stream. But I didn't get that at all. Sorry. He was in the car accident. Okay was that explained when when I was stunlocked by the I like to ask my Daki Makura for consent thing. The radio. Oh, the radio port's him. I remember the radio port. I didn't know that was him. Okay, it was. It was during that. Oh, okay. All right. Well, then I think I have a good. I think I have a. a yeah. All right. Okay. Good. I have a good. A good excuse. All right. Teacher, am I forgiven? Renju is extremely suspicious. He has no alibi for the time of Shoko's murder. That was noted in the investigation report. That's not so strange, though. There's more. Wait. Does that mean he also got? in the car accident on the other route too and did we learn about it on that one or no maybe he was always dead and and he was just strung up like that i cannot reach renju by any means he has not attempted to visit mizuki in the hospital even though she is his daughter and witnessed a traumatic event despite all this 
He runs from the hospital, even with substantial injuries. Uh oh. Perhaps this is an escape. Or some say escape. Iva, call in this gate. Uh oh. Roger that. Andate. <gasps> Hello, this is Lemnus Gate Entertainment Offices. Let me hear your message. Thank you. What kind of employee training do they have there? Anyway, I gave them my name and told them about Renju. Do you have any idea where he might be? Uh, sorry, no clue. I'm trying to get in touch with him too. So far, nothing. I'm getting worried. He must be a mess right now. Oh, wait. Maybe he's at the Maid Cafe. Maid Cafe? Maid Cafe? Do you mean Sunfish Pocket? Yeah, that's the one. Like, out of nowhere, Renji was like, I'm gonna rent out Sunfish Pocket. I guess he was gonna throw like a secret party or something. And stage my own death. The accident and all. Still, he might be there. I know about Sunfish Pocket. Renji used to talk about it. He runs Lemon Skate as well as that maid cafe. Thank you. You've been very helpful. No problem. Farewell. Sunfish Pocket, huh? So long. Farewell. Hey, wanna go to Atami? Alright, you have to have a bio, right? Yes! Alright, name. Hanano? Hanano? Na Nesu or Nasu? Sex female, age 24, birthday April 27th. Nurse, profession, nurse, likes candles, ropes. Oh, damn! Oh, rodeos, dislikes, jocks, queen bees. Hobbies, theater, skills can shave really fast. Overview. She is a member of a small group of actors nurses. She practices hard even though she is yet to land a leading role. All right. Nurse A just rocketed up the top spot for best girl. Appendix time. You know what? It has been a while. Let's go through it. Well, well, if it isn't Dante. Long time no see. Is something wrong? Ask her what her favorite kind of rope is. Well, hopefully it's like hemp or cotton. We're talking about styles, you know. Gotta go with the classy shibari. Appendix. BL. Boys love. A depiction of love and eroticism between men. Although it sounds vulgar, it is often a display of pure sublime love. And there are many worthwhile works of art in the genre. Don't be so close-minded. True. Evolver. Exciting, vol voltaic, versatile handgun. Date's weapon can fire a number of different kinds of bullets, such as explosive, flame, spherical, and wire rounds using, using electromagnetic force. Okay, so it doesn't have any discharge? Okay. Pewter invented it at the request of Alba and Date. Alright. So Pewter can just do anything, huh? ICU. Intensive care unit does not mean ICU. Nice. LGBT. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender. I love them all. And then Albert Einstein started clapping. Nile. A social networking service that allows you to exchange instant messages via smartphones and PC. My dream is to one day make stamps for this application. All right, we did this already. Hold on. We did this one already. Uh, end system. Did we do end system? A network of cameras and recording under useful career installations. Uh, the bane of people driving around mistresses. True. All right, so we want to go just do the new ones. Photosynaptic neurocoupling used to enter. Okay, that makes sense. Used to enter the brain of a subject. The sinker sinks to the deepest levels of the subject's subconscious and synchronizes with their synapses to collect data. Sinker, the agent that performs the sink. How about that? All right. Illuminati, a secret. When did the Illuminati? When was the Illuminati mentioned? A secret society allegedly found in Ingolstadt. Bavaria in 1776. Really? That recently? Originally just a private club of university professors and students, but now it has become... Actually, I better stop now before I mysteriously disappear. 
Dojinshi. Like Leonardo, Leonardo Dojinshi. <laughs> Made books or comics that celebrate a particular franchise. <laughs> Usually erotic in nature. I don't have any, but I need to do some research, so please send some. There are so many minus twos in the chat of people that are laughing. You're laughing and hitting the fucking minus two like I'm mad I'm laughing, so I'm hitting minus two even though it was funny and I'm laughing. Screw you. 812. Convenience stores popular across the country. Colloquially known as. Did I say that right? Colloquially? Colloqualia. Uh, colloquially referred to as eight stores. Mayumi purchased the Ad Adoroki Man chocolate at one such store. Okay, so this is from the other timeline. I remember that. Okay. National Research Institute of Police Science. NRIPS? The scientific research branch of the MPD located at Kashiwa, Chiba. Uh, in addition to, develop, to developing new technology for crime investigation prevention, this branch also performs evidence inspection and testing. When an analysis is too large scale or technical to be handled by this branch, it is sent, we picked the right music for this. It is sent to the National Institute of Sciences, a similar but unrelated research organization. Um, just so you know, chat, a a after I'm done reading through the appendix, uh, we're gonna take break. So if you wanna have a longer break and come back, you can take your break now if you don't give a shit about the appendix, okay? Like, as soon as this is done, I'm gonna go pee. So, you know, if you have something you need to do, there you go. What- what a courteous streamer. Institute of Sciences, a scientific research institute unrelated to NRIPS, conducts tests, um, appraisals, and inspections of any material too large or sensitive to be handled by local police departments. Kabaddi, a contact team sport popular in india one player on the offensive side runs to the defensive side of the court while continuously chanting the word kabaddi tags as many opponents as they can what then returns to their side of the court all in one breath without getting tackled does not involve shooting nor is it particularly cute that sounds really fun actually what the hell Caps capsaicin capsaicin hopefully i'm saying that right a pungent ingredient common in peppers yeah i was right okay irritant sprays such as pepper spray uses this chemical okay but on to why you're really here the real answer is it doesn't matter spider crabs can't do flips uh who asked who savior Oda said that Tessa is his savior. Maybe nice. Maybe some people reacted to this line by thinking, "What? Isn't that a little extreme?" Iris hasn't saved the world or anything, uh, but but she's not a Samaritan. But to people who are in trouble, people who are in a bad place in life, someone like Iris can be a savior, and that's what matters. Okay. Shizui Kiranushi, boss's real name. Nice. Toa, time of arrival. Saliva DNA test. It was once difficult to conduct DNA tests from cigarettes because of the small amount of saliva found there. However, modern DNA tests can be conducted with just a single cell. Doubt? You'd have to find the cell. Ko Koteka? Uh, an accessory worn by indigenous people in New Guinea. A cylindrical sheath made from the hollowed out gourd worn over the penis. I don't remember when this was brought up, but you know what? It tracks. I'm sure at some point it was. Sink. Remember when Date said, I'm used to sinking? That was a pun. Date is a sinker at Abyss, which is why he made that comment. <laughs> All right. Aphonia. A medical condition in which the person cannot speak, usually from some kind of stress or trauma. Similar to muteness, not the same condition as aphasia, which is loss of the ability to understand speech entirely. All right. Swiss Army Knife. Under current Japanese law, you cannot carry such a knife in public. If the blade is six centimeters or more, it violates the firearms and swords law. If it is less than, than six centimeters, it is a misdemeanor. misdemeanor. Juro, a kind of ramen. The broth is heavy with pork fat, then piled high with thick cut noodles, cabbage, meat, and whatever else the customer desires. Oda eats Juro ramen at Juro's. Nice. I would try that. That sounds all right. Soki Soba. 
A specialty of Okinawa, soba cooked with soft noodles and boneless pork spare ribs. Would also try that. Somnium, although I'm not a big I'm not a big pork fan. Not not very pork pilled. I like uh, some bacon. I like some sausage, and that's about it. Pepperoni. After that, eh. I'd rather have something else. Dream in Latin, the plural is somnia, and attaching the prefix in meaning non or without results in insomnia. Relatable. Time insomnium. Peter added a new feature to the sync machine that allows you to slow down time, but it only works when Alba is standing still. Why? Simply put, it was a limitation of the technology. When Alba is standing still, she and Date are exchanging information at extremely fast speeds, which creates the sensation of time slowing down. But when Alba is moving, it is not possible for her to exchange information as quickly because she has to use resources to move and interact with the environment. Imagine a giant boulder on top of you on, on top of a hill. If you hold it with both arms, it will stay put. But if you only use one of your arms, the boulder will start to roll. Okay, that's a horrible description. Underground? Iris said that she doesn't get many gigs. She is more popular in the underground music scene which nowadays means the internet does it history in this context incoming call history nice central hospital N nice joke plus two a large hospital in the Man Manado district dis slang for to insult I haven't heard dis in such a long time slang for to insult originally an American word it has found its way to Japan possibly an abbreviation of disrespect oh does it huh Good old dis internet cafe, sometimes called net cafes or PC cafes. Originally, these were simply cafes that featured internet connection connected computers, but modern Japanese internet cafes also feature private booths. I don't know if this is going to surprise anyone or if this is a common thing, but I have never been to an internet cafe. Not once ever in my whole entire life, ever. And you know what? I don't really want to. But, you know, if I was ever in the area and someone was going in, I'd be like, eh, I guess so. Like, I'm not adverse. I just, you know, I have no real desire to go into one, you know? Many feature manga, magazines, and waitresses, similar to a manga cafe. The booths are typically 10 by 10 feet and walled in by tall partitions. Are they? Booths sometimes have a re reclining chair and matted floors, perfect for reading manga, browsing the internet, napping, or watching videos. Sounds more like a little room that you uh, rent. Buggy. Shoko, no child should dislike buggy rides that much. A buggy is a small baby carriage, strictly speaking. This is very British. Uh, speaking, a buggy is slightly different than a baby stroller, but many people use the terms interchangeably. In computing terms, it can also refer to code with errors and glitches. Mizuki and game developers alike hate buggies. Jocko, a concert hall or event venue. Actually, is it British? Stroll maybe? Stroller? Huh. Cower. Uh, to be afraid, avoiding confrontation, a cower in front of my producers. Nice. Dom P, a world famous champagne with a pink label on the bottle. Pram, yeah, Pram is Pram is the other one. Push chair, push chair sounds a little familiar. I feel like buggy, I feel like someone in my family used to say buggy. Yeah, it is pretty, yeah, maybe it's uh just just a UK language is very localized, you know. Considering how small the UK is, like there's a huge diversity in the language. Uh, Femitz, Femitz Stowe, family store, a convenience store chain popular for nationwide. Otis stole the station wagon from a fam family Stowe parking lot. Freemason. Oh, oh, they got us. Freemasons, a fraternity founded sometime between the late 16th century and the early 17th century. Publicly, they are an organization devoted to the improvement of moral character, but in reality, they ask... It continues. Eye of Providence, the, a symbol from Christian theology depicted as an eye enclosed in a triangle. Providence, meaning of divinity. Okay, when is the Illuminati going to get into this? Because they're like, like, Lord of the Eyes. What underground conspiracy group is uh, is linked to noses? Providence, meaning of divinity and guidance, and an eye that represents God's all-seeking eye that looks down on all of humanity. Originally, the eye of providence was not defined to be either the right or left eye specifically. However, most depictions of the eye of providence today are drawn as the left eye. Ooh. The Nosferatu. Nice. Nosferatu tech support. Head office. The top administrative office of the Metropolitan Police Department. Jobs. 
When used by a Yakuza, it likely means an illegal or unscrupulous activity. It also has a sexual connotation, but I wouldn't know anything about that. Yeah, you virgin. Lemonscape. A talent agency which Renju Okira owns a Lemonscape is a curve represented by R to the power of 2 equals A to the power of 2. Cause 20 for the polar coordinates for I'm not reading that in the orthogonal coordinate system if that's still confusing to you don't worry it's confusing to me too the curve has a shape like infinity and in Japanese is called Renju K meaning making it perfect for the name of a company Renju owns okay it makes kind of, that makes sense all right let's get cracking gig a show typically a musical performance uh, Iris said that she does not get many gigs and I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to read the tips for uh, for for the Somnium. Yeah, there was nothing there about how the splits work. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go peek. Be right back. Wow, we lost a lot of people doing that. Thank you, Shatter. Thank you. No, I just wanted to talk.
All right, I'm back. Sorry, I was waiting for uh for for the tea so Lily wouldn't have to bring it down. Let me take a sip. Ah. Oh shit. About so I was thinking that it's not fair to the people that weren't here for when we read the rest of the appendix, so we should probably go through the whole thing, all right? So let's go. Abyss, Advanced Brain Inst Investigation Squad, a special classified division of the Metropolitan Police Department, tasked with conducting criminal investigations by understanding and penetrating the human mind. They are stationed six floors underneath uh, MPD headquarters. Few know of their existence. I also have forgotten now which were the new ones that we read, so we should probably just read them all together, you know, so we, we don't get confused. Oh, I can't read that. All right, bit over. Shoko Nadami, Ren's ex. Ren, meaning Renju Okira. You're sharp as ever. I saw it all on the news. How awful. This is a painting of Saint Sebastian. Saint Sebastian was a faithful Christian who lived under Roman Emperor Diocletian. On January 20th, 288 AD, he was martyred. This painting depicts his execution. Something wrong, Date? You're staring awful hard. Nothing. Just caught my eye. Why now, of all times? That's been hanging there for a while. Really? Yeah, it was a gift from Rick. I've always had it. What do you think this counts? Bars? I do not appreciate your pun. You do, though. Hey, Date. Wanna watch men in Fundoshi's pounding drums? No, thanks. I'm good. Mama, you've changed since I last saw you. Excuse me, that is a fridge. Oh, it's slightly different this time. This is a bar called Marble in an alley called Golden Yokocho. She runs the place we all call her Mama. She might be technically have the body of a man, but she's got a maiden's heart. She belongs to a lot of pro LGBT groups and the like. She? I thought she was they. I guess it didn't clarify. Okay, she. Have you been? I've been okay. How are you, Date, honey? I don't see you around here much anymore. I've been busy. You used to come all the time. You and Ren, grumbling over your glasses of bourbon. Laughing, drowning each other's sorrows. Sometimes getting into arguments. One time it even became a real fight, you remember that? Really? Oh yes. Great memories. You don't remember? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. You mean this watch? He blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Yeah, his favorite watch. He got it from his new lover. An anniversary gift. Oh, this was, of course, after the divorce. <laughs> of course. Ren was so happy. He showed it off to me. He's had that watch on him ever since. I have something, but I don't know how useful it will be. No, tell me. You know how Shoko was a representative of that investment company? Yeah. They were part of a massive fraud scheme. Really? That's right. And they were in bed with the Kumakuras, the Yakuza gang. So maybe... 
The Kumakuras killed her? I don't know for sure, but they were capable of it. Maybe Shogo did something to piss off the wrong people, and they punished her for it. Hmm, that's unusual. Not a bourbon. I'm working. I drink at work all the time. We have very different occupations. It's kind of the same. I make people throw up. You make people throw up the truth. Do we? It's been a while. I have no idea. Wait, you probably don't know what we do for real, actually. Okay, that makes sense. What's wrong with Ren? He's deed. I told Mama about the accident. And about how he disappeared from the hospital. Oh, no, really? Yeah. I see. I'll contact you if I get anything. Please do. Do, 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 do. Mama spends her time running the bar, but she's also full of secrets and confidential information. Most Japanese immediate isn't super... Wait, what? Most Japanese media isn't super Japanese media... Okay, I think you typed something around there. Isn't super LGBT friendly, so I think it's cool that we have a game that is so aggressively positive. Yeah, it's... Um, I think being aggressively positive is way better than being aggressively negative, obviously. Um, I think it is coming on a little too strong, and it... Like, I don't, I don't think it is pandering, but I think it's kind of feeling a little bit like pandering to me, and I don't think that's the intention. I think it's genuine. It just... I wonder how other people take it. Like, obviously, like I'm not one to judge all that much, but it's it's it can be genuine and pandering at the same time. I think. A little clumsy, yeah. A little clumsy is probably a good way of saying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would much rather it be genuine and a little clumsy than um, than uh, like inauthentic and more subtle how could you do that though without it without it feeling inauthentic without with it feeling inauthentic it's probably an impossible goal but i i think you know what i mean drunk people tend not to be too careful with secrets and rumors you know how it is so a place like this is perfect for gathering information whether it's politics business entertainment even crime mama knows it all whenever i get stuck on an investigation i come see her summarize for me Shoko was involved in illegal activities. Perhaps the rental phone was used for that purpose. The Kumakuras. They have a relationship with Renju. As an LGBT, I do prefer when some when something is pandering the negative, but it does bother me when it feels like they're banging their progressiveness over your head just for point. Yeah, I think that I think that's a good way of of, uh, of of putting it. I don't necessarily think that the game is doing that in every instance of it, but. Um, I think they have done that a little bit, at least, a couple times. I remember him telling me that. Do you want to pay them a visit? Yeah. I hope it won't cause problems. What are you doing, by the way? Polishing Bonito. It is not well known, but dried Bonito is a fermented food. Oh, that's what it is. They are boiled and dried which attracts a particular mold as it ages. It takes between three to four mold attraction sessions and results in high quality bonito. What? Mama is cleaning off the mold right now. Caro Caro Bonito? What's that fruit that is is popular in an Eastern country that you're not allowed to, to, to eat it and they have signs up? Quarian? Durian. Durian, that's it. Yeah, I've never smelled one. Does it really smell that bad? Sorry for saying Quarian. Shit. Okay, Kumakara off. Okay, I think we should go to the sunfish pocket. Let's spoil, uh, let's spoil it. Let's save it first, though.
It smells rotten to attract flies. Why do people eat it then? Does it taste? Is it most taste linked to a sense of smell? Oh, it's open. I thought um, I would think they would taste it like it smells. Welcome home, Sea King. Oh God. Welcome home, Master. Sea King. Oh. <laughs> is this your first time here? It's a mermaid cafe. Uh, sorry. I'm not here as a customer. I'm seeking a I need cutie to pie. Talk to someone about something. Target acquired. <gasps> Jeez, kid. Excuse me. See how much game I have? So oh, much game. Sir! Oh, oh, wait a minute! What is this drink? Date? Ota? You come here too? Ketchup? Ke what the fuck are you wa Ketchup? What the fuck? What? Ketchup? You have a trident? There's another one? What the fuck? Ketchup? Another That omelette rice looks delicious. It doesn't though. Okay, no shoulder plate. Date, I must be the bearer of bad news. Even with X-ray, her clothes will not turn transparent. Your heart rate and blood pressure is rising. Have you ever tried it? I have not tried omelet and ketchup. I have tried scrambled eggs and ketchup, and that's gross. I'm not big on omelets in general. It's gross. The concentration of phenylethylamine in your blood is rising rapidly. What are you excited about? Pelvis. The pelvis, obviously. Here we go, I want to see it again. Her hips. Are you seeing this? I'm about to cry tears of joy. Do you have a paraphilia for bones? At this cafe, the maids and clerks are referred to as mermaids. That's what we call the customers. Us mermaids serve the Sea Kings. And we really are mermaids, you know. Don't tell anyone. What? Everyone working here is a real mermaid. They're not. But you have legs. Yeah. They were a gift from Poseidon. But you still have we your voice. We were given legs and feet. But you can still talk. So that we can gather riches and foreign currency in the labor market. Date, let's go. No, not yet. There's still so much to learn. Do not listen to her siren song. Look, huh. you can see right through. You seriously disgust me, Date. A mermaid from Sunfish Pocket. She has such gorgeous, well-balanced bone structure. Okay, that's gotta be it, right? That's gotta be it. We're done now? Oh, we went too far. We dug too deep. By the way, I didn't introduce myself yet. I'm Konami Date of the Metropolitan Police Department. You're a detective? Something like that. No, he never showed up. Gonna need your when number in case I need an interview for the case. Hmm. Let me Let write me down think. on my hand. He's Damn, just such the owner, game. not the manager. So such game. He comes sometimes, but not all that often. A mermaid. The girls are working. It looks like a flotation device, right? But it's actually... But it's actually a huge donut. 
Can I eat it? Doesn't sound right, but there might be a huge drone up there. I like that looks like a jellyfish. The counter. What is it counting? What kind of furniture can you drink? Uh um a light beer? What? No, it's a, a, a two-seater soba. Nope. Shit. Soba's food, rice? isn't it? You can't drink rice. Yeah, you can't drink rice, the idiot. answer is liquefied leather soba. How would anyone ever guess that? What? Can you even drink that? You're dumb. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you and tip you? Because it's working. What the What's hell? The box. The severed bottom half of a mermaid. But you could have just said the tail. Wooden box. Apparently, mermaid sails in there. A trident. Cream soda, huh? Sounds about right for Oda. Cream soda is gross. The cafe's menu option. Uh, Two thousand yen. What it, and what is on? Okay, what's on? Let's hope he's not blowing his life savings here. He looks seriously ill. There are pictures of girls so, on display. So, who's your type, Date? Sorry, but no one stands out to me. I don't go for the spawn. I'm more of a big catch fisherman. Uh, what? I think he's saying he likes older women. In this context, yeah, probably. You can see the kitchen back there. <laughs> How many times have I told you to cut the bone properly, you bastard? Yes, what kind of cafe is this? Damn. A real row can be heard from inside the kitchen. The security camera. I think we're done. Oh, you have a cream soda too. Anything I missed, chat? Oda is sitting opposite of me. Have you seen Renju? No, haven't seen him. Is this related to what happened at Bloom Park? No. The body on the merry-go-round was Renju's ex-wife. I didn't know that she was Mizuki's mom. Did she change her name or something? Yes. Mizuki saw her own mother's dead body. And she I was just happy. left her there and she ran away smiling. like a coward. I'm such a piece of shit. I should have stayed. I should have done something. True colors. Why did I do that? Oh, is it eating you up inside, Ota? Yeah, seriously. Just so sad. While you're sitting here adding up your options? But you can order two, Date. Oh, I can? That's not why I'm mad, Ota. God, I hope you're paid a lot. Holy shit. The cafe signboard, it says Sunfish Pocket. All right, that's it. Sure am. I come here whenever I've got time and money. I was here yesterday, too. Around 6.30, I think, but I couldn't get in. I saw a sign at the entrance that said the whole place got rented out for some party. But I came all the way to Akihabara, you know? I didn't want to just go home, so I bought a new one. A new what? A phone. I dropped my old one in a puddle, remember? So this is the outer route. Cool. It's not a spear. Lord of the Maid Poseidon, Cafe. God of the sea? You know, a trident. Why do you have that? We treat our customers like lords of the sea. <laughs> we give them these tridents. It's like a little ranking system we do. 
The color changes depending on your rank. There's bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and at the very top, or a calcum. So it basically measures how much money you've spent on these girls. Excuse me? Is Orcalcum a real thing? No. Okay. In many different types of fiction. Okay. Well, that doesn't sound very nice. It's more like a way to exploit their vanity. To separate our customers from their money as much as possible. That sounds even worse. Does it matter in this context? Well, we, if I encounter something and I and it spawns a question in my head, I usually look it up so I can learn and better myself. Like the the first time I ever heard of that metal was when I was playing Skyrim, and I just thought it like I think I found it on an orc. So in my head, I just combined this, and in my head, it just became oh, it's the orc metal, and I'm like oh okay. And now I've heard it again for the second time, and I was like oh wait, hold on, what the hell? Maybe that's a real thing. So now I've looked it up, and I'm like oh, it's not. And now I know. Now I know more. The more you know. I'm still gold. Not that good. Orc Alcum. How much did you spend to get that? Um, about 200,000 yen. I suddenly understand why someone would want to kill another human. Because I'm worried about Tessa. Iris, what's the matter? Yesterday night. Well, it was past midnight. Wait, you're so not Iris? More like this morning. I don't care about the timing. What happened? Tessa was streaming as usual from her living room at home, but suddenly. A polar bear. Actually, let me just show you. Please, oh please. I record her please, please, please. Oh please, for the love of God, please, polar bear in the background. Oh, please. Wait, so something bad happened to her and you're, like, at the maid cafe? I'm kind of nervous. It's been a while. Mm, got it. I'll try my best. In your living room? Oh. And then suddenly the camera turned and she was on, like, an ice cutter okay, machine. Hey, everyone! Here's my debut song. Let's hit it! I wake up, I wake up. Do, 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 do. Okay, at the end of this, it's gonna be like, hey, look, can't you tell? She did a horrible song. I'm really worried about her. Her heart wasn't in it at all. I know that Iris better than anybody. Something must be really going on with her. Who could it be at this hour? Is it Date again? Oh man, she's really into us. Okay, one second, I'm coming! Grr, grr, grr. My streams were bad. All right. One hour into the stream, so about 2 a.m.? That's weird, right? Someone coming to visit at 2 in the morning? No, nope, pre-recorded. And then she leaves? She looked really serious, too. Pre-recorded. I was worried about her, so I tried to call, but she didn't answer. She didn't read any of my Nile messages, either. I thought maybe the people at Sunfish Pocket would know something. Tessie used to work here. She made a lot of friends. No. I'm one of them. Who are you? But I don't know what she's up to. Wait, hold on. I need to know everything about you. One second. I'm going to my mind palace. <gasps> no! What? How does a nurse get one? But you could fucking crime. How am I supposed to know what your sexual fetish is? I have to talk to you? I don't want to do that. God damn it. I asked the other girls too, but no one knows anything. 
Iba, call Iris. All right. The number you are attempting to dial is either offline or unavailable. No way. No way. She's dead. Is she actually dead? She might be. Anyway, <laughs> prophecies are simply <laughs> not possible. <laughs> He's still stamping the trident. Is he gonna do it again? <laughs> Come on! Come on! Do it again! Maybe I have to like progress the, the, the dialogue? Oh! Okay. Something wrong, sir? Uh, no, nothing. I wonder if Tess is okay. I'm so worried about her, I can barely eat. I hate this person so much. You look like you can eat just fine. Date, Renju is not at this location. We have other areas we need to search. Yeah, you're right. Are we gonna do the Yakuza scene again? I hope not. I hope it's a different Yakuza scene. Get her! I can never remember if Kiru is K I R Y U or K R Y R U. I always get it mixed up. I have to check every single time. It's K I R, right? K I R Y U, right? Kiru. And I will remember that and I will forget next time. I get the Y and the R mixed up all the time. I guess I did like you, like, like, see, see, who play. You are. Right, here we go Who's again. this asshole? Hey, how's it going? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. I don't want to do this All again. Alright. Bye then. Alright, bye. Hey, Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? You bastard! It won't let me skip. Maybe it's gonna be different. Uh-oh. Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? Is Oda worse than Mishima? Um. Oh, that's a hard one. Oda so, at least seems to like explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office. Oda has a life, right? Like at least he has a life. I think Mishima is the bigger loser. I think that Oda is more like aggressively annoying, but like I don't have to interact with either of them. Like, I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's Moma, the warhorse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. All right, Moma. I have a few things I want to ask you. Two days ago at Bloom Park, a woman's corpse was found. Have you heard the name Shoko Nidami? Sure have. How? Heard it on the news. The media is making a real fuss about this new serial killer. Okay, this seems Can't identical so far. About it. I got nothing. Okay, let's just skip through because it seems like it's identical. Where's the chairman? <laughs> what? The chairman is right in. What? I. That the chair. Check the rug. I checked the rug. You aren't the chairman. Yo. Date, wait. I did some research and he left. But mo moment. Wow, that is a big flying squirrel. That is a. Okay, same thing as last time. After 40, your toenails grow slower. Oh, that's different. Well, that's an interesting motto. All right. Well, now we have to look at everything because that was different. Go to the zoo instead. Now we have to look at everything. Well done, Chatter. If I make a wish, will it come true? That is not. I'm a I cannot. The power is off. 
You're just you're just sitting in front an offline computer? The Kumakura crest. I have no idea what you're talking about, cop. You must have gotten some bad info. Fuck no. Why would we do that? Don't know nothing about her. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. Date, look at this. A thermograph from when you inquired about Shoko. Body temperature rising. Red hot lie. It appears that way. How do I get him to cop to it? Remove his fingernails one by one. Not my style. This is different, isn't it? Blackmail him? Blackmail? Find his weakness and threaten him with it. Let's examine the room. Perhaps we may discover one of his secrets. Do you think that pulls out into a bed? What would be the point of that? What do you mean? Futons are awesome. Marvelous. What? Marvelous marble. I hate you, Alba, so much. So I'm guessing So's not here this time. I wish for panties. I told you that's not Shenron. No! There's a hidden safe behind the crest. It makes sense. There is something inside. I recognize that. You know, I'm friends with her. It's just like the one I saw at Matsushita Diner. An Asa figure. Correct. But why is that there? Unknown. But perhaps... Hey. You wouldn't happen to be a fan of Asa, would you? N no Who's that? What? Who's that? A schoolgirl internet idol. You know what I'm talking about. Think you can get away with talking to our boss like that? He's tough as bricks and hard as nails. Never being a pussy shit like that, you fucker. Whoa! 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 Hey! 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 Whoa! Oh! <gasps> Nay! Um. Um. Amami Doi, sex female, age twenty, birthday August seventeen, mermaid, profession mermaid, likes ratatat. What? Bang bang and slappy slap. Drugs? Dislikes sea kings who stay for an hour after ordering just one cup of coffee. Hobbies? Breeding triple wart sea devils. Skills? Exploiting the vanity of her customers to make huge sums of money based. Overview? She works as a maid at Sunfish Pocket. She's in friends with Iris, Mizuki, and Oda. Is she? And she occasionally goes on haunted tours and UFO sightings with them. All right, but here's why I really want ass. Iris has an ass. Why are you being such an ass? Oh, is that what he likes being an ass? All right. Hold on. Hold on one second. Who's the one that likes women? He's going to be fine. This is going to go well. It's fine. Don't worry. Shadows, water, fears. Water. Water. Wait, uh, sweat. He said, he said you bet. Lamayo got him. Shadows. Threat, a uh, silhouette. He said. Fears. Upset? Uh, regret? He said! Just as I thought. Boss? What's this? Would you kindly? Sh shut up! Don't look at me! Get out of here! Did you hear me? I said get the fuck out of here! Meanwhile, so really is here. <laughs> Cause 
Yes, sir. <laughs> the fat one grabbed the ski, wanted to drag them out. I've got your secret now. If you don't want that to get out, you better answer my questions. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Well, time to head on up the dusty trail. <sighs> Rohan was my older brother. He was my big brother in this organization and my blood brother. Oh, you're Onishan? But he's gone now. A suicide. Yeah, after breaking out of the hospital. About 20 years back, both he and I were the new guys in the Ujisaki family. The Ujisakis are above the Kumakuras in the hierarchy. At the time, we were in a turf war with a rival gang. One day, one of their boys walks in here and beats my bro's face in with a metal bat. Whoa! His vision's been fucked on the right side ever since. So it wasn't a knife. The doctors say he can still see. But... But it doesn't register. Uh-oh. Like, he only eats food off the left side of his plate. He needs a, an AI. If he's drawing a picture or whatever, he only draws the left <laughs> side. <laughs> Date, a question for MoMA. Is Rohan left-handed? Why? Just ask him, please. Yeah, he was. Confirmed. Rohan must suffer from hemispatial neglect on his right side. As you are aware, the brain is divided into what is called the right brain and left brain. Mm -hmm. One side develops into the superior hemisphere, responsible for language and higher functions. The other side controls spatial recognition ability. In most people, the superior hemisphere is the left brain. It's a real thing that can happen? I, I know about... Um, uh something to do with this and also I remember, I remember watching a video of um people who can who who have this the, the middle part of their brain severed can they they can they some part of their the their body can do things without them really realizing the left and right side if they block their vision but like only eating food off the left side of your of your of your plate and only drawing one half of the picture that sounds like an exaggeration isn't it i don't think that part's right but um they're the getting the gist in Alien roughly one-third yeah. of the population, the right brain is the superior hemisphere. This is often linked to left-handedness. MoMA just confirmed that Rohan was left-handed. From this, we can conclude that his right brain was his superior hemisphere, and his left brain was the inferior hemisphere. Rohan suffered a beating on the left side of his head. That must have damaged his left brain. That caused him to lose his spatial cognitive ability. Anyway, after getting the shit beaten out of him, he changed. Man. This is a lot of detail for someone who's dead. He became cold blooded. I'm talking ruthless. One time, we captured some street bosses from a rival gang. Bro grabbed him by the big toe and took a potato peeler to him from the toe to the thigh totally blank expression like he was scraping bonito flakes anyway sick fuckers like that always end up running the world don't they he started climbing the ranks and eventually he was taken in by the ujisaki family boss the ujisakis decided to make him head of our gang and that's how we became the kumakuras all right thanks for the thanks who asked about it was us. six we asked. years ago I remember him telling well, me about six years ago. Big, some threat to the Kumakuras that could bring us all down. It was me. He didn't give me the details, but I figured it was something from his past coming back to bite him in the ass, you know? Anyway, where's Rachel? His was to handle his shit internally. And didn't want too many people knowing about it. But whatever he planned didn't work. When the chips were down, he decided to handle it himself. He ended up shooting some guy in his house. A few days later, cops busted him. Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined that 
he was insane at the time. Maybe they were right, you know? His head's been getting worse and worse for the past 20 years. He gets relapses and all that. Worse and worse. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. Isn't he dead? Okay, just, just a weird way of speaking? Okay. Right. We do have connections with the investment company Shoko worked at. A company that commits fraud. No comment. Anyway, we never had any problems with Shoko. There'd be no reason for us to kill her. Yeah, fair and balanced. Oh, okay. And it would be illegal. That's true. How did you know? They're hiding an ASAP figure in the safe. How did you know that? I have superpowers. Yeah, sure. Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You can ask the hotel. They'll tell you. Dante, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko. <clears throat> including Moma. No point hiding it, right? Yeah. I know about Shoko's ex. I told Mama about Renji's whatever and about his appearance in the hospital, his accent. Do you know where he is? Nope, sure don't. It's not like we keep in touch or anything. I detect no abnormalities in his thermograph. Oh, it must be legit then. Looks like he's not lying. Hey, Moma, I've got a favor to ask. Can you get me information on Renju? His whereabouts, rumors on where he might be, anything. I need some leads. And what if I refuse? Then your gang finds out you're the world's biggest ASET fan. <sighs> in exchange for helping me, there's a reward in it for you. A reward? I'll let you meet ASET. What? I met her yesterday at Lemniscate. We're acquaintances now. Really? Yeah. You promise? I'm gonna on a date yeah. with her later. Promise. Uh oh, she's dead though. Uh oh, he's gonna be mad. The Kumakuras appear to be unrelated to the investigation. It was still worth it just to find out Moma is an ASAP fan. Wait, the cigarette. Really? <laughs> that information might come in handy later. Let's go somewhere else, Isla. We got what we needed here. Abyss headquarters. Alright, when does the route get bad, chap? Wrong. Because so far it seems pretty standard compared to the other one. Is it after a split? Because I don't doubt you're right. Steering wheel. Why hander? <gasps> That's a broadsword. Dashboard? Date, last night when you were asleep, I snuck out and put something inside the glove box. What? Flower in a plastic bag. Uh oh. Why would you do that? I'm a cop! in the passenger seat while the precise image of us and scream and when Sarah scream G -g ghost I have been here for several minutes now could you not come out like that why not 
If people see you, they'll freak out. Do not worry. I can only be seen by you. I am sending this projection of myself directly to your brain. Oh. Right. I don't believe you. But Everyone returning you. to your answer, why would people freak out if they saw me? Isn't it obvious? Isn't that obvious? The lowest part of this route is still higher than the peak of Steins Gate. True! Colors! True! True! A girl looking like you, dressed like that, sitting next to me? True colors. People would think I'm a pervert. Hmm. If you continue saying such things, I will self-destruct. An AI never lies. So, you weren't kidding. What happens if you self-destruct in my eye socket? You die. Your skull would pop like a balloon. You mean a rubber? My body is full of cutting-edge technology and state secrets. Nah. In terms of hardware as well as software. I am capable of hacking 99.99% of computers that currently exist. What if someone managed to steal me? Yeah, in the sequel, everyone's gonna have one of you. Okay, you 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 look like a, like a, he a cordless headphone. All right, no one respects you. Like, look look at this. It would threaten not only the police force but the existence of the state itself. Uh huh. My self-destruct function is designed to prevent such a scenario from ever occurring. Strictly speaking, I am not capable of self-destructing. What do you mean? I obey the three laws of robotics as laid down by Isaac Asimov. Mm-hmm. I cannot harm myself. Sure. However, a person with administrative authority could order me to self-destruct. You have such authority. Okay. Self-destruct. Let us determine a code number. Are, are we gonna hit an ending here? will activate the detonator. Command four one two zero five. Don't say it. If you issue this command, I will detonate. All right. No, that's still too dangerous. We need some kind of safety. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first. What is the second command? Panties. Let's see. How about if I tell a lie? A lie? No. no something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. This is so dumb. Understood. And one more thing. Even if I die, do not worry. I will not be gone. Huh? Everything that I see and hear is uploaded to the cloud. All by wireless communication in real time. Even if my body is destroyed, my backup data will not be lost. My memories, as well as my core programming, will be preserved. He's, he's, he's gonna be like, he's gonna be held at gunpoint later, like squinting because, because she's out of the, out of his eye socket. And he's gonna say, four, one, two, five, zero. And the killer is gonna be like, huh? What the hell did you say that for? And he's like, I don't know, I just like to say numbers sometimes. Also, like, I, I hate Rika. And I also really hate big boobs all right here we go like so you're basically immortal yes yes as immortal. long as the server is alive hey about that five digit command oh it's zero five not five zero how did you come up with that number flip it upside down it is my favorite number why? There is no particular meaning. Really? Does it mean Date? Where could Renju be? I also wonder where he could have gone. I'm already tired of this, Iva. That's not like you. Is something wrong? Shoko's estimated TOD was two days ago, 5 p.m. It's been more than 48 hours, but our investigation has made zero progress. 
Sorry. I just wanted to whine about it for a bit. In five years, this is the first time I've heard you so dejected. Six years ago, I lost my past. Names, addresses, family, childhood, everything. But that wasn't all I lost. When I left, how? And they just found you in a gutter and were like, here you go. You're a cop now. And you just were like, ah, I guess that's what I am. I don't know how I lost it. The earliest memory that I have is me aimlessly wandering the streets of Sinjuku. Sinjuku. Until a good friend gave me a hand and was like, damn, here. Come with me. Be a cop. To where you belong. Boss helped me become a cop and assigned me to the Abyss. A year later, I was called into the control room where Peter showed me something extraordinary. His porn collection. Oh, oh yeah. The, the official I title is AI Ball. Okay. You may call her Iva. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. And you're giving it to us? Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadjet System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. We felt bad for just taking away she your memory. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. You were the first person that went into the sink and got completely fucked up by it, so we feel really bad. So here, here's a god. Here you go. It's been five years since then. I'm behind on streams. Has anyone called Alba an Ifu yet? Oh, no, I don't think anyone has. If they have, I haven't seen it in the chat. Nice. Ifu. Ifu, no. That's pretty good. I like that. Five years and a number of tough cases, but... This time is different. About Shoko Nadami's murder. We still need to see the investigation through. The only relevant lead is the call made to Shoko's phone. Iba, is that number still turned off? Please wait. Date, the line is connected. <gasps> I'm a cop. Really? Really. Call it. Isn't your number being blocked? Try from a different line. You can do that, right? I can. Which line would you like to use? Hey, what are you wearing? I say you're from the cabaret club. Shoko's phone, Abyss's line, my home phone. Say you're from the cabaret club. The number you have dialed is no longer in service. Oh no! So the caller must be a regular there. Do you plan on questioning everyone who's been there? No answer. No connection. Darn. I see. The caller did attempt to call Shoko's phone. If we call from that line... Right, he might pick up. But a normal call may yield the same results as before. I have an idea. Do you remember what Shoko's voice sounded like? Yes, I do. I remember everything that I see and hear. Can you reproduce her voice? Analyzing recorded audio data. Imitation should be possible. Well then? You want me to call with Shoko's voice? No, I just want to know if you could do it. Yeah. Me? You're the only one who can. Fine. I suppose we have no choice. Okay. Are you sure you can handle this? I am an artificial intelligence. Not a human prone to nervous breakdowns and mistakes like you. Whoa! Alright, Hal, let's see what you can do. Hal, I miss you. How did they pick up? It, it's connected! It's ringing! I thought you said you didn't get nervous. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> Calm down, deep breaths. <sighs> Wait a minute. What? I'm an AI. I don't take breaths. Focus, they're gonna hang up. Um, hello. This is Nadami Shoko. Impossible. Shoko is dead. Yes, I died two days ago. Idiot, why did you say that? <laughs> oh, by I, I meant my twin sister, Shoku. Your twin sister? His name. Get his name! Is it so? How? Ask, are you Yamada? Tell him you have a package and need his address. Ask for his name. Accuse him of being an imposter. You're an imposter. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Don't act dumb. You sound completely different. How did you get that phone? This is my phone. Liar. You're impersonating him. That's enough. I am so Sejima. Yes! A politician? Sejima. Under the... Oh, it is him on every line then. Okay. Sorry for doubting you. It's fine. What were you calling me for? Oh, uh, sorry. Something urgent just came up. I will call back later. Goodbye. Why so? Unknown. Why so what? But that was definitely so Sejima. I was able to match his voice to public records of him speaking. Or it's another AI that was really nervous before answering the phone and was like, Oh my god, they're calling you again. We're gonna have to answer this time, Hajime. It's fine, it's fine, don't worry, just you know, just just pretend to be so Sejima. He's the one who owned this phone and we found it on Yeah, yeah. Okay, deep breaths, deep breath. Wait, I don't take breaths. Alright. Oh, what? It's it's Shoko. Shoko's impossible. Just answer. Just answer. Say it's impossible. You're an important resonator. No, you. So Sejima is a minor celebrity. He even goes on TV sometimes. Major celebrity. Two days ago, he called Shoko. What? What did he call her? Why? In any case, that was an excellent performance, was it not? Mm-hmm. Yeah, good job. Yep, like two magic eight balls all? pointed at each other. What, do you want me to pat you on the head? N no nothing like that. Because I'll do it. I tap my fingertip against my left eye. <laughs> Stop! It tickles! Rub, rub, rub. Stop! The nerve might break! A call came in soon after. This is so Sejima. Date! A call from Investigation HQ. Connect me. Man, what happened to that fade the block is this there? Special Agent Date from Abyss. My name is Akasuka from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call earlier from a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. A prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Okay. Oh yeah, this from last time. In here, I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shogunadami. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. He sounds he familiar. Kill again, you know. And he'll take their eye while they're still alive. Mm -hmm. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. In my cell suit. This has to be a prank. That's what I thought too. But I He's camera. Like oh, is he? Okay. Anyway. Good idea. Thanks, detective. Good luck. Do you think it really is just a prank? Well, to be sure, look into number 89. Roger that. I'm Dr. Like for now. So, Sejima.
Oh, oh, we're going right here. Okay, cool. That's not sus. Sosajima is just such a hey, boring you villain. Can't be here without permission. Yeah, I can. I'll call the police. I am the police. Oh, damn. What happened? Sir. Are you limping? A uh, police officer. You. Okay. You know us? Can I help you? Oh. I need to ask you a few questions. Dad? I'm a very busy man. You can ask me tomorrow during normal business hours. It's about Shoko Nadami. You can't tell me you've never heard of her. As a matter of fact, I have. It was reported on the news that she was killed. Okay, he does actually have kind of the same creepy smile that Date has, huh? Two days ago at 9.02 p.m., you made a phone call to Shoko Nadami. Do it. A phone call? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Got a girlfriend? Didn't think so. Yeah? Sorry, it is, right? Eh? I'm married. This guy's domestic. His normalcy must be punished by death. What's your name? He didn't say a word. What's your blood type? Okay, I'll guess. You're a B. Definitely a B. No, A positive. You're being rude. I knew it. That attitude is so B of you. So B. There's a porn mag on the island. Look, a kappa. He is a wealthy, powerful man. It is not surprising that he owns a pet kappa. Really? Really? Kappa's in the chat. Give me cucumbers. I feel like I heard a strange voice. Danny DeVito? Hey, how much do you get paid? What? I'm talking about cash, my friend. I rub my thumb against my pointer fingertip in a circle. Probably double what you make. Really? Iba, bring up a job search website. On it. Don't those sunglasses make it hard to see? My vision is augmented. I made a face at him. No reaction. I guess he really can't see well in those. Your boss is a liar, you know. <laughs> Remember when the, the huge group of them did like a like a brave heart battle cry? That was so funny. Raw. <laughs> Aren't all politicians? That's surprisingly honest. This one will be B. A bodyguard. Kansas part says call him A. A is standing there, but A has blood type B, and B has blood type A. Date, perhaps there's something you should be using. Oh, that. Do. Okay. So much blood. Where's all this red coming from? What? It's a thermograph. Okay, goddamn it. Yeah, I knew that. Mm-hmm. I mean, technically, the heat. Anyway, he's lying. How do I get him to admit it? I thought the thermograph didn't work on him. What will make so confess he killed Shoko? Killer says what? Threaten him with your gun. Call him. Peel off his nails. Bribe him. Call him. I'm gonna call him. Iba, call his phone again. Using Shoko's line. Understood. You're not gonna pick it up? It's from Shoko. I had her give you a call. Smile. What? Scowl. It'll stop ringing soon. Three, two, one. See? Four, one. Fine. I did call her. Around nine o'clock, just like you said. Finally confessing? There's nothing to confess. I did nothing wrong. Then why did you lie to me? Because I didn't want to get involved in all of this nonsense. Smile. You mean to tell me that I am a suspect? Oh yeah, I'm more from another line where I killed you. 
Dad. My call was after Shoko died. How you know? If I were the killer, why would I do that? I don't know, but I'm asking the questions. To give yourself an alibi. Do you have a warrant? I thought not. Do I need a warrant to ask you questions? I'll be leaving now. Okay. Uh, I mean, you can, but, like, I mean, it was fine for me to come here, I think. Good night, detective. All right, see you later. So I went back inside his... So, so went back inside his mansion. I tried to follow, but so spy guys blocked my path. Go home. Unless you want to get kicked out. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know where So was Friday at 5 p.m.? Here, in the mansion. Can anyone corroborate that? Maybe the housekeeper. I don't know. Even if I did, it would be confidential. So Sbarri is in my way. Damn. Look! A UFO! <gasps> he didn't flinch. Look! The Mothman! <gasps> he didn't flinch. Look, a grandma! He didn't flinch. Look, a porno mag on the floor. Wait, porno mag? Where? I like this guy. I've heard of her, but I've never met her. I saw her on the news. No, nothing special. Not any different from any other politician, anyway. Date, a minute. What happened? So is on the move. Most likely in a car. How do you know? I hacked So's smartphone and I'm currently tracking the GPS. Not his rental phone, the one registered under his name. Where is he headed? Unknown. Somewhere to the east. Keep tracking him. Roger that. He's going to the, uh, whatchamacallit? The, the, where they cut ice for their fish. But a bit of bum, but a bit of bum, but a bit of bum, but a bit of Alright, So's dead. So's dead for sure. Harbor to warehouse. To oh, he, he is going here. All right. Uh, time to put on my bear costume and go cut some ice. It's my favorite hobby. Uh, uh, uh. What do you mean? I had no idea that there was a girl that was pinned there onto the ice cutting machine. I just like to do this. So my bear I can't even see anything in this bear costume. Try it on yourself. You'll see. All right. Uh, uh, uh. He's right. I can't see anything. He had no idea that there was a girl lying on, on, on that thing. Yeah, and then that Oda guy, he just, he just fucking attacked me and hit me with a fucking crane hook. So I have to defend myself. Yeah, that's true. It's a good point. Uh, why, why are you actually? Why are you here? Seriously, what? He just likes to come here. What was So doing here? Date, my apologies. What's wrong? My battery is low. Uh oh. Are you serious? Can't we charge you in the car? I guess it's not going to be a problem. I still can still see with out of my right eye. My vision halved, and I went into, into my vision halved, and I went to in, into warehouse. Okay, I feel like we could just like wait a little bit. This is dumb. Uh oh. We're gonna see something, and no one's gonna believe us because we weren't recording it. Date, even I have trouble believing this story of yours. Are you sure that we don't need to up your medication? Ugh, God damn it! I'm telling you, I saw her in that warehouse. Hmm. The shelves are packed with cargo boxes. This warehouse not in use. Oh, is this Iris? Oh. Oh, something covered with a white cloth on the table. It moved. It moved. Uh, it can't be. Okay, what's that? Ice sculpture? Iris. No. Then we're gonna see her alive. But no, you're dead. Well, at least we don't have to go on the date now. Iba, what's your charge? Currently at two percent. Can you make a call? We didn't charge her on the way here. I can. I am connected to the power supply. What do you? 
Hurry. Just connect me to boss. Date, what's wrong? I found a body. Yeah. It turns out that because she was frozen, though, that there's still some lingering brain activity. If you put her in the Somnium right now, we can do it. Sink. Somnium. 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 Yeah! I'm sorry. I just did I just did the math, and it turns out that if we waste any more time on Somnium this month, we're gonna go bankrupt. Did someone say Somnium? Somnium. Somnium. What? She was murdered. Oh, no. Multiple stab wounds to the back. And one eye missing. Oh, no. Location is Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. The victim, the victim is Iris Sagan. She's not going to be there when you get there. Iris. She's gone. I'll tell you more later. Why would you leave? Just send CSI to the scene right away. And one more thing. Congressman So Sejima, bring him to Abyss. Oh, she's not there for sure. He just played us like a fiddle, man. Wait a minute, why? I'll take responsibility for everything. Just do it, please. Just, that's why they say you should never fight a polar bear in its natural habitat. You'll lose every time. <sighs> All right. Date, you're dumb. She was right. She did turn up dead. You were the last one to see her live before her stream. Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. Somnium. Somnium. Damn it! <laughs> I'm having a good time. This is a good game. I'm having a good time. Oh. Uh... Okay, we found the body, right? Surely getting there was Do faster. You honestly think you can get away with this? Already have. Any oh. new files? Oh, it doesn't say she's dead. Funny, I was gonna ask you the same thing. Date, calm down. You know Iris Sagan, don't you? No, I don't. I've never heard of her. Maybe he's lying. Maybe he's not. But even if he doesn't know her name, he killed her. Where Iris was found. Alright, hold on. L Luke! Iris's body was found frozen in the warehouse. Oh, was it actually, though? Her right eye was removed, and she suffered multiple stab wounds to her back. There were no other visible wounds on her body, so the stab wounds were likely the cause of death. From the size and shape of the marks, the murder weapon is almost definitely a knife. Possibly a kitchen knife. With a floral pattern on it. Because <laughs> in every timeline, it's, it's actually the mom who's pretending to have dementia as an alibi who can just tank a fucking hook to the leg and she's in her polar bear suit. It's just a mastermind framing So Sejima in every time just to protect her, her her son from the fucking witch, witch, lord of the witch initially. <laughs> Thinking about how Iris's body was frozen when I discovered it. It it's not me! 18 hours for the body to freeze to that state. I entered the warehouse at 9 p.m. Uh, would it? 18 hours prior to that was 3 a.m. Iris was last seen alive around 2 a.m. She was live streaming, so there's no doubt about the time. Meaning Iris must have been murdered between 2 and 3 in the morning. Iris's body was discovered at Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse in the warehouse district by the harbor. Okiura Fishery? That caught my eye too, but we'll get to that later. And mine. The actual murder site is unknown. The lack of blood at the scene makes it highly likely that she was killed somewhere else. Oh yeah, where they were actually killed is, is completely different. It was, it was unresolved too in the other, in the other um, uh, ending that we saw. Iris was live streaming until 2 a.m. today. Someone visited her and interrupted the stream. Saw me, yum. I hadn't saw been in contact yum. with her for a while. Whoever visited her this morning almost certainly has something to do with the murder. Okay, we're gonna gas so and put him in the Somnium this time, right? 
This is the image stored in the Persons of Interest database. Oh, okay. I saw So walking out of the cold storage warehouse where the corpse was discovered. Iba recorded the whole thing. Yeah, I was there, but I didn't. Just before my battery ran out. I didn't like take the sheet off. I was just there, just just checking it out. What do you mean it's not relevant? Put a picture of Iris in front of So. So you've never met her before? I have not. Have you seen her corpse? Corpse? I know you've seen her body. Based on what? Based on this. Where I was just found. Okay, seriously though, game, has anyone gone to the warehouse and found her? Because you're not confirming uh -oh. that, and I feel like they must have, but I'm really afraid that at some point during this interrogation, someone's gonna bust in and been like, like, Date's on crack. There's there's no corpse there. Uh -oh. Like, uh, Okay, here we go. Iris's body was found in Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Was it? What does that have to do with anything? Okay. I stood up and went into the corner. Went to the corner of the room. All right. When are we gonna find out that he's texting Oda? I picked up the PC monitor, put on the desk in front of him. Don't worry, Sosajima. I won't tell him about that thing. This. Iba, play the video. <laughs> right away. All right. Is it a meme? I see. Then I suppose you know I was there. Then you saw the body. I didn't. I was at the warehouse. But I didn't see any corpses there. Don't lie to me! It's the truth. Then what were you doing there? I, I choose to back. remain silent. Oh! You what? Remain silent. As is my right, guaranteed by law. <sighs> Remember that I am a politician. Not very silent right now. I know my rights. Not very silent. Smile. Oh, you Date, evil person that knows your rights. Can I get a rights. second? What? Does it matter if he saw the body or not in this case? He's a busy man. If we hold him here too long... Boss, who's you? want me you to want? stop beating around the bush? I certainly do. <laughs> you believe that so is a Best girl! Oh, damn! Or is at the very least involved in the crime somehow. Yeah. Why not ask him for his alibi first? Okay. Uh, Iris' is time of death. Iris' is autopsy report. Iris was report. killed sometime between 2 and 3 in the morning. Do you have an alibi for that time? Yeah, I was, I like... was playing Mahjong all night. Wait, what? At a place called Dora Dora in Shinjuku. Politician spending all night in a Mahjong parlor. Yeah, that tracks. An exclusive Mahjong parlor, yes. I thought you were gonna be it's Mahjong, silent. you should have had three opponents with you. Indeed I did. But they were all strangers. I don't remember their names. Date, I did some research. Dora Dora is a private room Mahjong parlor. Gotta have a camera. It is owned and operated by one individual. Who? If the rooms are private, that limits the number of potential witnesses. The shopkeeper might be in So's pocket, and he's the only one we could ask about So's alibi. Especially if he doesn't remember any of the three people he played against. He might as well not have an alibi. Damn, it's that's pretty, not much of an alibi. So it's pretty suspicious that he he did he doesn't know where he was at all times, just in case a murder happened in his orbit, so he would know how to clear himself, huh? Really, pretty goddamn sus that you just don't immediately have a witness that can pinpoint your precise time and location at the time that someone was killed. I mean, most innocent people know that at all times, every day Please, they remind themselves of that. This is ridiculous. First, you suspect me in the matter of Shoko Nadami, and now this. I'm screaming right now. I can't kill anyone. anyone right now. Not Shoko, not Iris. Besides, if I stabbed a woman, why would I bring her to a cold storage warehouse? Wait. What did you say? So I didn't respond. How did you know she was stabbed? But I remembered. He slipped up. If I stabbed a woman, so, 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 so does know about the corpse. Because how do you know about the tw 28 stab wounds? How do you know? Autopsy report. How do, how do you know? Um, okay, so 
Alba losing power is just like, like, lol, that happens? Okay, I respect it. I never mentioned Iris's cause of death. How do you know she was stabbed? Because... Because you did Ah, very funny, Enyo. Don't Classic. Then how do you know? Stop dodging the question and answer. <clears throat> Boss, give me permission to sink. He can't hide inside his own head. You've got it. How is there an Sink autopsy report already? Oh, yeah, they, they must have found her then if they have an autopsy report. Okay, what the fuck was that then? Oh, oh, we're just... I'm sorry. He's like, okay. I'm going to stay silent, but okay. I'll agree to your brain scan. Right. Please, don't forget the six-minute time limit. Somnium. Somnium. every time. Somnium. I don't think boss would do this. This is a plot hole. Oh, this is cool though. Did you witness my superior driving technique? Yeah, I saw you get in an accident. No, I only pressed the wrong pedal. <laughs> That's what you call an accident. Oh, look at that. Don't change the subject. Observe the surroundings. Aw, oh, neat. Huh, in a word I'd say it's strange. Maybe this is So's corrupt nature manifesting itself. That Iris? The man's Somnium is almost as corrupt as he is. I am impressed. Uh, never mind. Yeah, this is a real bad dream. Let's get the clues we need and get the hell out of here. It's Iris. What on earth is she doing here? To be clear, I'm not really that bothered by the fact that they just, you know, boss went against, like, her scruples. That, well, it's not even scruples. So her her worry about, uh, about getting reprimanded from the higher up to do this. It's fine. I don't care. The game is playing fast and loose with with the with the rules. She loves putting people in silence. That's true. That overwrites everything. It's in her bio. That's true. Boss likes putting people in grasping people's weaknesses, applying pressure, making them obey. That. What is that if not putting someone in Somnium? Uh. Oh, oh, damn. Uh. Really, though? Iris! We can't go any closer? We cannot silhouette we saw this is so somnium during a sink we experience <laughs> the subject's dreams from a third person perspective this is so somnium in other words it has to be him i cannot say for certain but probably again what's going on it appears that time is looping in this warped space. Time is looping? Can't you do something about that? What exactly do you propose I do? You're telling me I have to watch this scene over and over? I don't want to watch it either. Well then? I suppose we can help her. Somnium scan. We may then be able to ask this manifestation of Iris some questions. Huh? Sure, do whatever you gotta do. Yes, we have to save Iris, no matter what. Yeah, she's dead. Yeah, she's dead, bro. But to do that, 
We gotta do something about that huge wooden box. Why? Somnium scan! Activate! God, I'm bored! So we're, we're going to lead her into the freezer. Okay. Damn, so stylish. Help Iris escape. If Iris escapes, you may discover so secret. Okay. Large box. A large wooden box. Push it, hit, investigate. Uh let's hit. Hmm. Leave it to me. A wooden box is no match for me. I will crush it to pieces with my special right straight. I'll leave it to you. Ah! I'll leave it to you too. <clears throat> By the way, what is your opinion on pineapple and sweet and sour pork? Never had it. Wow, you really tried to change the subject there. A large wooden box. No good. I cannot move such a large object. But it's right in the way. A large wooden box. This box is too large to exist in reality. This must be a reflection of So's deepest psyche. It's deepest psyche? He definitely doesn't want us going any further. It seems that way. This guy's a pain in the ass even in his dream. In any case, Moving this box may take some ingenuity. Okay, I can I can just walk around though. Oh, I can't. I can't walk around. All right, it's got to be the forklift then. The forklift. A forklift. Kick, drive. Kick, drive. It's all in the mind. All right, let's use a 40 to increase 20 seconds up to 40. Roger that. Leave it to me. It is time it, to unleash it. the Drift King. Yeah! Didn't you crash a minute ago? Besides, the forklift is front-wheel drive. Oh, she's dead! Oh, she's moving! We're losing time! There's something here. Maybe you should jump in. You might unlock a bonus stage. Do you have the mind of a child? Yes. Portal A. A mysterious warp space suddenly appeared. Put your hand in, throw pebble, scream. appears to be connected to that place. That sound makes it hard to believe it was a pebble. A portal. Okay, so put your hand in and you can move it because it makes your hand bigger, or can you scream and the scream will like destroy it? Let's put your hand in. Here? Yeah. My hand. Yeah, you can do it. I suppose if I must. All right. There's a few of you out there. I know you're gonna enjoy this. Enjoy it. There you go. Oh, I've seen a boss character like this before. Okay, what next? What is going on with your skirt? Uh, <laughs> are those box 
boxes in the way too? We do not have time to move each one. If only we could use that crane. Okay, so we have to go through the warehouse. H G T F. F F has like a weirdness to it. So let's go through F. A door to the warehouse. I cannot see inside. Peek inside, go in. should have led to the warehouse, but... Wait, what? Control panel A. Is this some kind of control panel? Raise lever, investigate, input fighting game combo. The one that is difficult for humans to input? Yeah, the GH Raging Combo. Fine, just be quiet. No, wait. Inputting that sequence of commands with the lever shaped like this... I think you can do it. I'll try. Moved. Ring out. That's a KO. Huh, huh, huh. All right. Is there no branch in this one? <laughs> if only she could fit through that gap. Ah, uh, we need to make her hip smaller. Quick. I'm guessing we have to go back through that one into another one now, but like what what's warehouse door A? A warehouse door. Knock listen. Uh well we get a 110 from this, so let's get let's listen. I hear the sound of scraping metal. Like a knife being sharpened. Sounds dangerous. Be careful. I wonder if it's worth it to get another one from this too. Like that, that that's so so many so many time savings. I feel like only action should have taken time. Moving shouldn't have have counted. A warehouse de delivery. Okay, so now we can go over to where she was. Okay. Crane box near crane. Warehouse door D. All right, we can slip through there. Okay, I don't think it's going to be the crane or the box near crane. Oh, there's another portal underneath the box. Okay, so how does that... Oh, this is hard. There's an, it looks like there's another portal there. So we use the crane to move the box and then we do that? Or can we lift the box? Let's, let's try the crane. Again, dream logic makes this hard. A crane. Throw something, tackle, ride. Tackle gives us a times three. God damn. God damn. Throw something. Throw something gets us a one nine. That's not gonna give a shit. It's not gonna give us a, 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 a free one nine. Times three is so. I don't even think tackle's gonna work. It never works. Fuck it. <laughs> Shit. There is no point doing this by force. If we are going to move it, we have to find another way. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. A wooden box. All right. So that makes it to t sixty. All right. That's not gonna do it. We need to find somewhere to burn this. A warehouse. Okay, open. Nope. 
A warehouse. All right, 30 seconds. Knock, listen. We get a one out of nine. All right, we have to do it. I hear deep, excited breathing. Don't tell me. Is it a panty snatcher? Okay, so riding it, no. Moving it, open the door. Man, I don't know what to do. Last time that worked. There's no way we're getting this. A warehouse door. Open. One nine, one ten. Use the one nine. What's oh. this? Something came out. Edible seaweed made this way was thought to be a delicacy for nobles during the Heian era. Nobody needs to hear your superfluous narration. Okay, so I just I push the thing up. Oh, she ran through. Well, I didn't know she could do that. Oh, we really did make her hips smaller. Please be big one that stabs. box hanging from the crane in the way now was there something under the wooden box let's just go back and lift it up for now okay so I don't understand where she went Portal B. Do I have to go in there too? I don't understand. The, the, the crane with the box? She's getting stabbed over here now? You have one minute left. Look, the, the here? Box near crane. A wooden box hanging from a crane. Punch, push. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I don't I don't understand where where she is. She went through there, right? And now she went back around. Is, is she here? Yeah, she's here. So I have to move this. Okay, so she's here. So, like, there's a thing here. Can I go through portal and, like, push it up? I thought that's what it was going to be. But the portal looks like it's going to make us smaller. Let's try Let's try the portal and see what it gives me. What is this? It looks like a premium channel before you pay for it. Peek inside. All right, we can peek inside and we can make it five seconds. I don't think peek inside is going to do shit. Joe the crane. I already did the crane. The crane didn't do anything. Joe is actually so bad. What do you mean? I got here first try. All right. That's not going to be it. Peeking inside is not going to do shit, but it might give us more options. This, I think we need to maybe move it. There's a portal underneath it. How do we do that? Oh, is she going to drop in the portal afterward? That's probably what it's going to be. All right. So it's something to do with that or it is ride the crane, but like, why can't we do it? Is there something new over there now? We looked at the crane already. A crane. Okay. Right. Oh, ride is no longer. Okay, ride is different now. So let's do a, let's do a half. You know what? I'm feeling maybe the tackle is gonna work this time. I feel like maybe we should tackle. I feel I feel like tackle is gonna work this time. I'm really feeling the tackle chat. I feel like a second tackle. You're not gonna, they're not gonna expect a second tackle. I'm doing it. I'm tackling. All right. Shit. There is no point. Shit. It didn't do it. It didn't do it. Shit. The second okay. tackle didn't work. Maybe a third tackle. Three tackle. I think maybe we have to do three tackles. It might be, we might need a third tackle. That I am against it. It's not gonna work. Can you not climb? Throw? I don't see any place to get a hold. Alright, third tackle it is. Third tackle it is. A crane. We get a one out of nine for this one. How about this stone? But nothing happened. Yeah, 
yeah so this was a complete waste of time all right thank you chatter very cool all right how do i move the thing Johnson, then you've got less than 30 seconds i guess i just lift it up okay there's nothing else here what's down there what's that do i go back and get the forklift Check map. There's a map? How do I go down? Okay, warehouse door. What's this? Box near crane. Concrete fragments. I don't think concrete fragments is gonna do it. I don't think it's. I don't think it's gonna do it. It's not gonna do it. All right, I think we just have to move it. I think we just have to move it. A wooden box. Push or punch. All right. If we push, if we punch and it doesn't work, we have time to use the one out of ten on push and get through these. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's only gonna cost us like a couple seconds. All right, here we go. It won't even budge. All right. All right, I don't know what the fuck to do. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna now we're gonna push. Wrong way! Push the other way. It is either stuck to the ground, or its cargo is extraordinarily heavy. Or you're just weak. Or just weak. Or your instructions are bad. Or you're just lazy. Or your breath smells like garbage. All right, this was worth. This was worth. Okay, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. The crane! Okay, either we, we run over to the concrete fragments and throw one across the fucking whole part. And that hits the box out of the way. Or we go in the thing. Or we go into that one. What is what, what is going in that one do? Did we go in that one? What does this one do? A warehouse door. Enter. We didn't go through it, did we? All right. All right, I'm going. Delivery. All right, here we go. Control panel B. Is this some kind of control panel? Input fighting game combo. <laughs> It's not gonna be the same thing again, is it? It's not. It's not a raised lever. It's it can't it can't be. It can't be input fighting game combo again. Can it? Fuck it. No. No. Got it. No, well, that wasn't it. Date, we're out of time. Damn you, so. How many secrets are you keeping? <sighs> All right, it's just raise or lower? God damn it. A warehouse delivery. This sometime. One minute left. Alright. No. It Got it. Damn it, it didn't work. It's a control panel. Okay, so raise lever or lower lever. I think if, if we lower right now, we don't have we don't have time to do both. So it's raise or lower. I guess we can investigate and see if we get any more information, right? Shit. Does this okay. Go to the crane? All right. Well, there we go. That way. Should we try it? Okay. It's gonna be lower. It's, it's gonna be. Panel. It's lower, not raise. It's lower. It's lower. Like this? Yep. It won't go down. Shit. It's, all... it's a. Date. Damn you, so. How many secrets? 
Blind. It's a dream chatter. It's got dream logic. I opened a door and he went. Th she went through a magical portal and became the one hundredth of her size. All right, this time we're doing it right. This time we're doing it right. Okay, this time we're doing it right. We're going straight over to those concrete piles. Here we go. Dun, 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 concrete fragments. Pieces of concrete. Kick, investigate, kick. Are you okay? I want to go home. It's okay. Don't push yourself. Just give it another shot, okay? You can do it. Stop it. You trying to be nice makes me want to cry. Damn, that didn't work. Should have known. All right, let's go. What if we tackled the crane again? What if we tackled the crane again? I'm feeling like maybe it'll work this time. Doctor, let's let, let's tackle seconds. the crane again. A crane. Yeah, let's tackle the crane again. One tap. We have two seconds to spare. Let's tackle the crane. <clears throat> nope. There is no <sighs> point doing this by force. Didn't work. If we are going to move it, we have to find another way. God, didn't work. God damn it. Wait, the warehouse door D. A warehouse. D All right, let's say five seconds. Time's very important to me. Delivery. This some kind of okay raise the lever here we go Understood. lord of the lever with time to spare can't believe all i had to do was raise the goddamn lever is there something underneath it he's really bad at this almost got it on his first try while wasting time to entertain chat Screw you, weeb. This game sucks. Uh-oh. And he still stabs her. Wait, are we just gonna stop him? Why didn't we just do that? Why didn't we just do that before? Oh. Okay, that's kind of cool. It appears Iris was saved. Barely. That shadow... must be... No... branch, huh? I'm surprised. Eight seconds to spare. Damn. Pro. Pro. First try. All I had to do was raise the lever instead of do the fighting game combo. Gosh, I should trust my instincts. I knew they wouldn't make you do it again. I knew they wouldn't make you do it again. Fuck. Kyusai. Iris was in the Somnium earlier. Yes, we saw. Okay. We got nothing from this. An unidentified figure tried to stab Iris to death. Yep, unidentified. And Date and Iba. Hmm. Smile. Who is that figure? Big bro. Probably so himself. Eh. True. He could imagine himself in his somnium that way. Mr. Date's ego algorithm processed the figure into that particular image. What are you people talking about? If you're quite done here, hurry up and release me. That felt like a waste of time, I understand. During a sink, the sinker's consciousness, or ego, is brought into the subject's somnium. They enter the subconscious mind, or more accurately, sink into it. At this time, the sinker's memories are left in their original body. Speaking Picture of sinks. The ego is the egg yolk that goes into the subject's brain. 
The sinker's memories are the whites which remain in the shell. The sinker, or rather the sinker as their pure ego, experiences the subject's somnium. But to be precise, it is not only ego. When synced, a modicum of memory data does get sent into the subject's brain. Imagine separating an egg yolk from its whites. No matter how you try, some of the egg whites will always stick to the yolk. Skill this issue. This is just like that. Skill issue. The subject of the sink remembers certain persons or objects that appear in Somnium. But they might not have a clear form. Our dreams are sometimes vague or unclear after all. Even the subject of the dream themselves. I told you earlier that the sinker experiences the dream from the perspective of an observer. That is why the person creating the dream can appear within it. But perhaps they do not have an objective view of themselves. Like a mirror or picture. Perhaps he's never watched himself on television. Rare for a politician, but not unheard of. He lacks that objective picture of himself. He remains stoic and unattached despite his position of power. I find that quite powerful. To be able to put your ego aside and see yourself as God sees you is an ability many charismatic people share. Peter, what the fuck are you talking about? He may not have a rational, objective assessment of himself. So, even if this figure is ambiguous, it could be so. Indeed. Imagine the human brain as being made up of two elements. Memory and algorithmic structure. Okay. The former is preferable because the latter can be problematic. It can output things based on the inputs it is given. To make this easier to understand, compare this to a computer. Memory is like your data stored on a hard disk. The algorithm is the program. This program controls everything, from higher cognitive functions to primitive instinct. This program is what creates the phenomenon of consciousness. This is a boob. In short, it is your ego algorithm. What you call your mind. Recognition, cognition, consciousness, Fuck. All of these processes are incomprehensible without the ego algorithm. However, the Wadjet system is revolutionizing the way we think about consciousness. The Wadjet system controls my core programming. Using Wadjet, we could map the neural circuitry of the human brain. And we discovered a specific circuit that is key to the phenomenon of consciousness. However, we human beings are still unable to fully grasp it. It's far too complicated. But even if we don't understand it, we can still use it. You don't have to understand electromagnetism Just... to use a microwave oven. The Wadjet system is how we are able to extract the sinker's consciousness. That is what makes sinking possible. <laughs> Imagine huffing your own bullshit so much that you cram these conversations into your game. Like, no, I riffed on this and you're gonna fucking hear about it. Here you go. <laughs> Just hours and hours of riffing on the fucking mind sink bullshit just to have escape rooms like just like oh my god i want to beat so over the head with that thing i see <sighs> apparently you need your dosage increased dosage dosage yeah more of that now it's a map of sinjuku middle shelf I look forward to Joe playing Metal Gear Solid. Oh, you, Kojima has done untold damage to the gaming industry. What it would give to be trapped in there with Rika. Everything goes back to zero. From one 
to zero. Oh <gasps> my god, how profound. What? Everything starts. A chair. The boss is standing there. Are you kidding me? You know that what we find in Somnium can't be submitted as evidence in court. Why'd we do it then? Besides, we don't even know for sure if that figure was so. You said it was. I said that it's probably him. Um, excuse me. You're still here? I'm right here. I can hear everything you're saying. Did you hear what Peter said too? That's my dad, by the way. You know that? Do you know? You do know, though, do you? You do know. You do, thermo imaging used to see how fucking nervous she is right now. They were standing next to like, oh, what the fuck? I saw it on the monitor. Iba saving Iris as she was being stabbed. Of course, since you and Iba are one and the same, it's like you saved her, Date. But that was just a dream. It's not real. That was a dream. Saving her insomnia won't that save her now. That was just a dream. I'm sorry. That's three in the corner. That's so Sojima, and I'm so so junior. No, nothing yet. What? They arrived a while ago, but. But. That warehouse is owned by Okiura Fishery. Okay. I know. Okay. Iba, can you check to see if it's the Okiura we know? How is there an autopsy report Sorry. then? That upon has questions. Lamayo, there isn't even a corpse in there. We just did this for no reason. Epic prank, by the way. All right, time to go back to my to my apartment. Do 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 do. He looks tired. The medicine hasn't fully worn off yet. It makes him a bit dazed. I've been telling you, I don't know anything. That's impossible. I saw Iris in your dream. You have to have some memory of her. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. Come to think of it, I still haven't heard your explanation for this. Two days ago, you called Shoko Nadami just after 9 p.m. Why? That is a private matter that I will not discuss with you. Give Drew Carey more monocoins. Mono how are you giving Drew Carey more monocoins? Is there like two options? I want to give them and the other one is I am Drew Carey more and... People are just gonna get just, just free monocoins. Pred predict? What's what's this? Yeah, it is! I am Drew Carey more. <laughs> I am giving monocoins. I am Drew Carey more. There are a lot of fucking Drew Carey Wars in the chat. <laughs> what what blood price did Drew Carey Moore pay for this? Because it wasn't worth it. <laughs> Damn, hold on. There's lots of people that are saying they're Drew Carey Moore. This isn't working at all. <laughs> Why aren't they... So you killed Iris, did you? <laughs> what were you doing at 5 p.m. two days ago? I was playing Mahjong. Reading a book at home. You can ask my housekeeper or my bodyguards. They will confirm that for you. That does match what Look the, the bodyguards said earlier. Okay. But they're like family to him. New pout just dropped. They're they not are. above telling a lie to protect their boss. All of his sons. Not the real sons like me. I didn't. Are you planning on acting dumb all night? How did you know Iris was stabbed? I heard it. What? On my way to this place, I heard that woman over there talking. Something about a girl who got stabbed in the back. Are you talking about me? Yes, you. I don't remember exactly what I said. What the it's fuck? It's possible that I mentioned a body with stab wounds to the back. What? Boss. What? What? How it dare you? It's impossible to determine now. What kind of operation do you think we're running? Yes, we gas and kidnap people and force them into somnium. Somnium. But we don't tell them evidence and information they're not supposed to know yet when we're going to interrogate them. What the fuck? In your 52 years of experience, you should know better. He very well may not have seen Iris's body. No, 
He still must have. Why did he go there? He was in the warehouse. Yeah. But does that mean we can conclude for certain that he saw the corpse? What was this? Four hours of filler? Date, the investigation team is calling. There's no body. This hey, is Date from Abyss. What Kinesma, happened? Kinesma, what's going on? Hey, sorry to call you out of the blue. There's something we want to check. It's not a good time. Uh, sure, what is it? Which warehouse did you mean again? No! 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 You morons! Yes, that's right. Huh, okay. Well, there's nobody wow. here. What happened? It's kind of weird. It's uh, not here. What's not there? We searched all over the warehouse. We didn't find any bodies. Whoa! It was a ghost. Wouldn't there be like something left behind of her? She was frozen to a metal table. You're not getting her off of there without leaving. So unless you know the procedure of getting her off. Oh, I guess maybe. Was she frozen there? No, there's no way you're getting her off there. No body, no crime. <laughs> no body, no crime. No motive, no crime. What do you mean there's no body? No, it's not there. No motive, no crime. Yeah, we looked everywhere, but nothing. Date, I am not doubting you. However, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I saw it. I know I saw it. I saw Iris's body with my own right eye. Hmm. Then perhaps someone moved the body. Between the time we left and CSI arrived. No. There's another possibility. It melted. Yeah, it melted. It's still here. Someone cut- they threw it in the ocean! What? 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 Where are we driving to? To the cabaret club! Saigon residence. She's still alive? Secret twin? <gasps> we just got reverse twins! Date? Iris! W what are you doing? Barging in without ringing the doorbell? Oh, you see, Mizuki ended up staying at my place. Okay, even uh, I'm starting to doubt what Date wrong? saw. <laughs> the world. <laughs> Date, are you sure? <laughs> the world changed? What do you mean the world changed? Did we morb? Sir, what? What's going on? Police headquarters? We're gonna be in trouble, right? Iba and I saved Iris during the sink yesterday. She wasn't killed. Mm, no, 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 no. Oh, God, fuck no. No, 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 oh, shit, no. No, 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 that's your conclusion. Secret twin makes more sense. No, so what if we did that, then we made him a hero. And, and that's what, ah, oh, for fuck's sake, for fuck's, for fuck's sake, for fuck's sake, for fuck's sake.
So, uh, on my way upstairs to the bathroom, I, I turned that epic, uh, epic, uh, rage into, uh, I'm the break transition, okay? So on my way upstairs to the bathroom, <clears throat> I, uh, I opened the basement door to my family sitting down having dinner, and all, all of my children are looking at me like I'm a maniac. Finn is barely holding back laughter, and Leo looks at me and goes, Daddy, why are you saying no to the game? Why are you saying no to the game? And then I told him the game was bad. And then I went upstairs to the bathroom and I peed angrily in the toilet. Like a big boy. They hear you the stream. They can hear me stream if I get loud enough, yeah. How on earth are they going to sell this? How on earth? True, but that was only a dream. Maybe the dream changed reality. Impossible. Peter so how doesn't, else would you explain it? Peter doesn't know what he invented. That you didn't see what you saw, or there's a twin, or what? I Iris came back to life. with whips cabinet okay so at some point we're going to we're going we're going to go into the somnium and we're gonna stop uh hitomi from getting shot and that's not gonna happen that's that's a that's a big change how the how the fuck does this work hold on am i being trolled is that really not what's going on am i just am i just being like bullshit and i'm just being like oh yeah that's what they're doing because i'm used to anime bullshit and that's actually not what's happening I have done some research. As the name suggests, the company is owned by the Okiuras. Oh my god. The same Okiuras we know. Renju's father created the company. Another connection to Renju. No, actually. Wait, this is just Life is Strange Apparently, again! Okiura Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. They're- they're polar- has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. In short, Renju did not inherit the company from his father, and it was instead given to other persons. But it can't be a coincidence. It certainly is suspicious. Mizuki went to Bloom Park three nights ago. She was prompted by a Nile message from Renju. Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. There are three possibilities. Did we make the phone appear when we heard the phone insomnium then? Like, did the dream make that reality? Whatever, let's keep going. One, Renju killed Shoko, or was an accessory to the murder. Two, Renju was threatened or blackmailed into luring Mizuki to the scene. Three, Hold on. the culprit used Renju's phone to send the Nile message. Did... Did Oda really set that up, and then because we went in the Dream Realm and made it so he got attacked, instead his setup was actually attacked and we made him a hero? In, like, oh my god! Did we did we make him like we made it real after he set all that up on the other path he doesn't, and then also we made so just appear there against his will dressed as a polar bear. <laughs> it 
In any case, the motive is still unknown. We need to talk to Renju. Renju? Where did you go? You asked Mama at Marble for information regarding Renju Okiura, correct? It is possible she may have something for you by now. Wait, what did we do in Iris's Somnium? I asked Mama for information too. But I have to promise him a meeting with Iris. Did we did we make Iris like have a relationship with with So there and then he killed like no, this is getting too weird. Uh, whatever. I'm just, I'm like, my brain is on fire trying to think of how this could work right now because I'm finding it interesting. We can talk to Iris's mom as well. She was Renju's classmate, right? Every time she's on Iva the desk, I'm stunlocked. I would suggest searching the warehouse again. You may be able to discover why Iris was resurrected. It is absurd. Not possible. His brain's on fire. Yeah, thinking's Dreams hard for me, as, as you all know. The imagination. An incident which took place entirely in your mind cannot have any bearing on the real world. That is preposterous. And yet. Consider it. And if yet. If you were to find money in your dream, does your bank account balance go up in reality? If you were to be attacked by aliens in your dream, does a swarm of UFOs invade Earth? But at the warehouse, I... But. But. If we change something in Somnium... You must have been hallucinating. Within Mizuki's Somnium, you saw Iris's frozen corpse. It is affecting your mental state. Last night, you were so phased by it that you couldn't speak. If it bothers you to this degree, why not go talk to Iris? We didn't talk to her? Her cell phone is on. I can trace her via GPS. She is currently somewhere in the Lemniscate building. I would jumped out of my eye socket. Man, wouldn't it have been more interesting if she was... No, oh, there must be a reason for it. I'm going to say if she could confirm that she saw it too, but like, I guess not. Whatever. Congressman Sajima is suspicious in more ways than one. Nah. Exhibit A. Three days ago, so called Shoko Nadami's phone. Confused. I'm confused. This sucks. I don't know exactly why. This is the worst route. I hate the game now. It was meant to be private. And it was going so well. Exhibit B. So Sajima was at Okura Fishery Warehouse last night. This time it was he for didn't sure. Of this. There must be something he doesn't want us knowing. Exhibit C. So was an Iris's Somnium. Man, he must be keeping some really wild shit in there if he like keeps the corpse, uh, you know, decoy corpse there to, to throw people off the scent if they ever go into his fish warehouse. Dreams are constructed from memories, yet the good congressman denies he ever knew Iris. Yeah, but we just showed her picture to him and she's like an idol, so maybe he has a thing for idols and then we, we made it. I sent him home yesterday. You released him? What was I supposed to do? We can't hold him without solid proof. What we saw with Iris yeah. hasn't happened yet. Yeah. In any case, we have to speak with him again. Stranger things have been known to happen. Two days ago, Date found Iris's frozen corpse in Mizuki's Somnium. It must have been a prophecy. Boss... There's a lot of stuff in this world that can't be explained by science. Boss's knack for change is one of her good qualities. Not having beliefs is what she believes in. Based? That's how she established herself as a major player in the police department. I mean, she doesn't believe in cleaning up. Because she believed what she wanted to. Date and Iba saved Iris Insomnium, and that changed the history of the real world? 
Hmm. Well, I guess it's not impossible. I cannot believe how fucking blindsided I was by that. Holy shit. That isn't what you said yesterday. That was then, this is now. A woman's mind changes with the phases of the moon, you know. What? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. Anyway, I what, believe what in doing? Date. I trust him more than anyone else in Abyss. Why? Tombstone. Rip. There are four people I should talk to. One. So Sejima, Iris and Hitomi Sagan, and Mama. Why Mama? And I need to check the warehouse one more time. We have many avenues of investigation. Let's get moving. Uh, let's go see Iris. I apologize for yesterday. What are you apologizing for? I arrived uninvited. No, I'm grateful. Thanks to you, Mizuki has her voice back. No, I didn't do anything. Oh, thank you for the tea. Steam is rising from the tea. Elementary work, work books on the table. Looking closely, one in the middle is different. How to handle a monster parent. Ooh, there are elementary workbooks. Okay. Was that for, um, for Mizuki? A speaker system. Not very much Mizuki on this route. That's a shame. A wooden shelf. Just a plant. A cushion. Catching a cold. Okay, where's where's Iris? It's a shoe box. Okay, I don't think there's anything to look at in here. Let's go. Tell me touching a red shoulder with her left hand. You asked me that yesterday. What? There's no point hiding it. I told her about Renju's disappearance. Right from the hospital? I'm sorry. I have no idea. Is this intentional or what? I put Iris through so much. I was 19 and single when she was born. People didn't take kindly to that. But Iris was such a fighter. She always protected me. I remember, one time at the nursery, some of the other mothers were talking about me. Oh, that, that was... Oh, now I can't trust anything. The whole game's completely trash. I don't even know if they're saying the right words. Wow, what a, what a shit game. Next. Here we go. Next. Iris ran up to them and said, Don't talk about my mommy. Game's lying to me. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the mother, but it's Iris who's always protecting me. They died when I was 17. I was an orphan, and my relatives lived far away. They might have taken me in, but I was already in my second to last year of high school. It wasn't a good idea for me to move that late. So I decided to stay here, by myself. And take care of Iris. Yes. All alone. But Renju would help sometimes. I've been wondering about that picture. Iris drew it when she was 12. There you go, Chatter. It's you on the left and Iris in the middle, correct? Oh. Yes. And who's on the right? Who's the dad? The man I was dating at the time. It was only for three months, but... I met him mate? about six years ago. <gasps> Have you been to the Kume Shrine in the Minato district? What? I was praying there one day, and I heard a voice. Well, more like a groan. Behind the shrine... I saw a man sitting on the ground. He was bleeding badly from his stomach. Did, did we do a world altering Somnium six years ago that just made everyone have like like a big day? Six, six years ago today, just like everyone just met someone important in their life or got in an accident or jumped off a hospital building or like that was the most eventful day in history six years ago because we did, we went to sleep. I took out my phone to call an ambulance, but he grabbed my wrist, and he held me, and then he kissed me. Oh, how romantic. I was shocked, but when I stared into his eyes... He was hot. 
Then I heard footsteps. And then a bunch of men yelling. They were looking for him. When the voices and footsteps faded, he let me go. Don't call an ambulance. And don't call the cops. Um, I knew he had to be a criminal. So I took him to an underground clinic I knew. You just knew one. You took okay. him to a mob doctor? Renju's friend. I only met him once. Uh, and then someone and then after three, a couple months of dating, someone took him away and, and I never saw him again. Heard he got his mind wiped and he became a police detective. Looked kinda like you, funnily enough. However, he had both of his eyes, so it can't be you. That's impossible. There are lots of dishes. Who, 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 what, what, what are you? Even though we had our first kiss seconds after meeting each other, this is... it took a long time before I got to see him again. The first time we held hands was when we watched a horror movie together. Oh, hand -holding. The first time I took his arm was when we went to a haunted house in an amusement park. <laughs> but I wasn't the one who grabbed him. A zombie jumped out and scared us. And he clung on to my arm. This one? He had that cute side to him. And I was falling in love. <laughs> Our second kiss was in the car. It's cliche, I know. But we drove around at night, looking at all the lights. We parked our car near a warehouse and kissed. You banged before that though, right? I don't think we ever said I love you. Wait, you... We both knew. You... You... We were you... getting closer and closer. Wait, wait. Woo! Woo! It was woo! Is... So there's, there's, there's one warehouse in, in the city. Okay. I introduced him to Iris about a month after I first met him. Iris never had a father figure in her life before. This is just Mizuki she with, with, with pink hair. Immediately okay. treated him like a real dad. From then on, it was always the three of us together. Together! We would go to the beach. To the river, the zoo, the amusement park. Going to barbecues with another person was a new experience for me and Iris. Everything felt so fresh. Every day was so exciting. And then oh, he died. Sorry, you asked about the picture. And then he shot he me in the to arm. Okonomiyaki one day. He was working with the hot plate. It was ridiculous. He was trying to flip one, and it flew up in the air and landed right on my head. Iris saw the whole thing and laughed and laughed. I hadn't seen her laugh like that in a long time. Okay, so you were dating Kiru. All right. That is the only explanation, and it works. Okay, I understand why I you're cool. I so much fun that I put an Okonomiyaki on their heads, too. Plop, plop. I added the Benito flakes and mayo and sauce. At this point, there was no going back. Eggs flew, flour going everywhere. The room was not a pretty sight. After our battle, we laughed like crazy. We were rolling around on the floor. So Iris decided to draw it. It's nostalgic. But those days didn't last. Six years ago, in November, a man with a gun broke into our house. Fortunately, Iris wasn't home at the time, but my boyfriend was. That's why the gunman came. He wanted to kill him. He wanted to kill him and he would never stop. He pulled the trigger. I tried to protect him. The bullet hit me, but the police arrived. They were both arrested and incarcerated. Why was he after your boyfriend? Before he met me, he committed some terrible crime. But before he was arrested, he had to go into Somnium. Somnium. The new the new thing that they were just begging to use. Peter was just begging to have people come down to try it out because they had just developed it and they didn't know if it was gonna work or not. And this was the perfect candidate. He was it was a slam dunk. There was no way they could mess it up. They found him red-handed. Bring him down, let's try it. Somnium. Somnium. But then something went wrong. Oh no. I don't know the details, but it was awful. So he became a target for underworld criminals. I don't know exactly why. But I know that he betrayed them in some way. Mm -hmm. May I ask you something? Of course. I had heard that that incident was a random break-in gone wrong. Oh. That's not true. I lied about it at the time. Because of Mizuki. Mizuki? Mizuki is Iris's friend. Oh, okay. If she found out, Iris would find out too. I didn't want Iris to know. Know what? That I was dating a criminal. He was her father figure. Iris looked up to him. 
if she found out about his past. There's a drawing on the wall. I was when she was 12. Aw, that's a nice way to end that. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Who told me such a rich older looks in a virus? It was always just me and her. Vacations, barbecues, zoos, amusement parks. Just me and her. Oh, that reminds me. When Iris was five, there was a children's theater show in Bloom Park. Vibin', it was called vibin', Milky Moon. Doo -doo -doo. It was about girls as magical space rangers and such. She loved singing and dancing. Even as a kid, whenever she heard music, her body would start moving. It was a quirk of hers. And she did it at the show, too. Toward the end, when all the Milky Moon girls were dancing to the ending song, Iris climbed up onto the stage and danced with them. I tried to stop her, of course. I grabbed her arm and tried to get her to sit, but before I knew it, she was up there, dancing. And everyone was so excited. Even I was dancing by the end of it. When it was over, <sighs> she had the biggest smile on her face. Why is he being so quiet? Mama, you're a good dancer. That's the kind of girl she was. I was being so quiet too. Joe, do you have a story about, about a zoo? I ha I don't. I have I have never been to Moncton Zoo, so I can't tell you. Sorry. I hear it's pretty bad. They don't have many animals. Just a couple dozen or something. Whenever she sees someone playing music on the street, she'll run up and join them, right then and there. Music at the train station, the crosswalk beeping, even at convenience stores. When their little chime played, she would start dancing. It almost got her into trouble once. She was on the jungle gym and a truck drove by. It was playing loud music out the windows. She climbed up to the top and started dancing, but she lost her balance and fell. She fractured her leg pretty badly. Oh, well, it wasn't it was broken Sunday, though. And it was hard to find an open emergency care. So I took her to the I was mob underworld. Her on my back, boss. Running and running through mob town. doctor. I could still hear her crying. Will I still be able to dance, mommy? Can I still dance? She cried and cried into my shoulder. It was the only time she ever cried so much. Uh, no, um, that's not true. There was one other time. Okay, tell us. What was the other time? Six years ago, I was the victim of a shooting. Yeah, you told us. After the surgery, Iris came in running. And she was sobbing. Mommy, don't die! Don't die! <laughs> Please don't die, Mommy! Don't die! <laughs> I swore to myself then. Seriously, my kids just, just her, never shut up. No matter what. <sighs> Iris is everything to me. More important than my own life. What, it took you until then to make that vow? What? Like... Okay, cool. <laughs> Today's a holiday. But now I I'm a good mom for the day right reasons. A detective. Oh, but you aren't a detective, right? Technically, yes. But I still deal with crime. I see. Today is a holiday. You forgot too, didn't you? Date, we can't spend time reminiscing. I mean, we just spent a lot of time reminiscing. We have to get moving. Okay. Yeah, let's go. I thought we were here for Iris. Not hit on me. All right. See you later, waifu. I guess she's at Lemon Skate. out on your shovel forge promise I didn't make any promises you promised me a date though I did go to your house two minutes before midnight and you didn't even take me anywhere yeah because we only had two minutes we could have got somewhere 
Iturup, Kunashir, Shikotan, Habomai? I don't know what any of those are. Are they Pokemon? Absolutely not. Then you should have come earlier. Bulbasaur, well, Charmander, uh... Wartortle. Gotta run this into the ground. <laughs> There's no such a cinema. <laughs> hey, wanna go to Atami? I want to know your measurements. Um, I'm 5'4. Alright. clearly not what you meant. Shorter than Lily. I want to too. We've been looking for him. We've been getting so many calls, it's hard to keep up with. Well, I like guys that like New Guinea fruit bats and yellow spotted neck turtles. Oh man, do you like guys with two thumbs? Because, you know, there's one right here. Yeah? Yeah? I cannot even picture that. Say, oh really? Again? We can go to, where are we going with her now? Barbados? Um, why? Well, because it may lead to something in the future. Hmm, I don't know. Date, we're on an investigation. Just let me have this. That's enough. I'll come right out of your eye socket if you don't stop. I'm serious. I'm going to pop out. She's gonna morb. Iba flew out of my left eye and started dancing on the desk. The receptionist immediately fainted. Iris saw the whole thing and also fainted. And so my story ended. The end. But I couldn't let that happen, so I decided not to ask her for information. Man. Dante, look! It's a terraphilic camelophilia! Look! Yay! Yay! Go, terraphilic camelophilia! I think it's awesome. awfully excited about insects. It's a good thing King Frost isn't here, because I would because I would YOLO OC fusion right back into him right now. Right back into him right now. Like it? Oh yeah. It's called Fisherman Shagging a Common Dandy. <laughs> uh, you go, McReady. You go. Let me skate. It's Shinsen Chatran. Who is that? I should lose some weight. I didn't say so fat. Oh, it's a high table. Date, I don't understand. You want me to say hi to this table? Yes. That's not what I said. It, uh, it is. Off? I saw your yeah, body is going to be so cringe. Oh, yeah. It's a holiday. So I decided to come to Lemnus Gate. We're going to do a recording for a show soon. I know you were mad about our date, but why was your phone off? Well, I couldn't get a hold of you. Um... All the professional streamers turn the phone off in the stream. Last night around 2 a.m., someone visited you. Who was it? I don't remember that happening. And you left the house as well. Wait, 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 yeah, 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 what happened? What happened? You really want to know? I do, yes. Yes. Yeah, there should be a recording of that. And you'd do anything for the answer. Yep. Yes. I'll even motorboat the receptionist. Tell me what I have to All do. All right, then. Shovel forge. Oh, for fuck's sake. No. Then go on a date with me. Again, no. But you owe me for yesterday. I told you I couldn't get a hold of you. Objection. 
Even if you did get a hold of me, you didn't want to see me anyway, right? Until you fulfill your promise, I won't tell you anything. Ah. <sighs> What about him? I don't need to hide it. I told her about Renji's disappearance. A traffic accident? Oh, no. I'm worried. Any idea where he could have gone? Best route, huh? Honestly, I don't see... It's kind of wacky, and to, and to some extent... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if, if it's better to know this, this time-altering bullshit that might not even be time-altering bullshit because we don't yell. I don't know if that's better to know it early or late. I don't, I, I don't know. Like, But honestly, it hasn't been awful. Like, it's... It feels about the same to me. Like... The, the interactions with Mizuki were definitely the highlight of the other path, and, and, and I and I missed those on this path. Um, Mizuki is very much a standout character to me, so yeah, I, I will say that I did prefer the other path, but this hasn't been terrible. Like, it's okay, like... I'm sorry, no. I've seen him on TV. Ever met him? No. Not at all. No, not at all. Iris, promise you won't laugh, but I saw something at the cold storage warehouse last night. What? Your dead body. <laughs> oh, uh, that was just me posing for, for a bit that I have coming up on one of my streams. I'm doing a collab with this guy who's really big in America. I don't really know his streams, but, you know, when I Googled, it came a big search. I think he goes by the name of Jerma, and he, he wanted there to be a corpse on one of his upcoming shows. Silly me. I didn't know that you were there. I was practicing. That's all that was. <laughs> I told you not to laugh. But... Come on, Date. I'm alive. I'm right here. Look, I can jump around. Woohoo! Stop. I'm serious. In my dream, I saved you from being killed. In your dream. And here you are. Which is why I was. Could could you be explaining this any worse, Date? Sorry. Uh, uh, There's no point in telling you all this. No, it's fine. <sighs> Sorry for laughing. I just didn't know what was up with you. Huh? I believe you, Date. Maybe you were in a parallel world or something. Another bizarre explanation. Oh, maybe you morphed. So, what are we doing? What do you mean? How is the morb emo getting so much mileage? Jeez. These latest emotes have just been, like, just hits across the board, huh? Damn. Go on a date. Don't go on a date. Do I even have a choice? Seriously. Fine. Hey, wait a minute. Yay! So you'll play Shovel Forge with me? I will not. So we'll go on a date then? I will not. <sighs> Yes. We're going to the maid cafe. Deal. And you have to honor our agreement this time. I can't believe it. Oh, but we can't go right away. I have to get ready. I have a recording coming up. I should be done by three, though. Well, Tessa, we're starting soon. She's going to be dead. Got it. Oh, yeah, you're here. Holy shit. So, Date, meet me back here at three? If you ditch me, I will be beyond furious. Uh-oh. Anyway, bye for now. Peace. Peace for real. Arya smiled and strolled over to the studio. She went into the elevator and then I heard it crash. There is oh. no point remaining here. She's probably fine. Let's get moving. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Okay, so, so or cold. So I, I have a feeling we're going to go to all of them. So let's go to marble. Just in case one of these does end, but I have a feeling we're going to be going to all of them. Where is this flowchart going, by the way? Hold on, let me go see again. You need more info on Ren? It's kind of heading down here, huh? Will it link? 
D -d 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 Boom. Is there a split down here, maybe? P. Phenylethylamine, a substance in the brain that serves as a kind of love hormone. When this hormone is secreted from the pituitary gland, people start saying things like, I love him, I love him, I love him so much I can barely breathe. Physiological effects such as a pounding heart are also common. It, is also, it, it has been many years since this hormone has been secreted in my brain. Aw, that's sad. I'm sorry to waste your time, but I don't have anything for you. I see. Mama is polishing a dried bonito fish. You know about Renju and the Kumakura gang, right? Yeah, I know. I heard it from his own mouth right here. Do they have anything to do with the talent scandal at Lemniscate? Maybe now they do, since Renju is the president of Lemniscate. But even before that, Renju and the Kumakuras go way back. All the way back to high school. Chat, please help. What is good old hey, Piscock from? I remember it, but I don't know where from. Body. So, someone just said it during the God of War Ragnarok streams. I don't know if they, if it's a reference to something. Someone just said it. And then I said it on stream because I thought it was really funny. I'm seeing one right now. I remember Renju saying that to me after he and I went through a You're bottle. A policeman. I don't know what department, but I assume you aren't handing out traffic tickets. So, how about it? I didn't answer. I turned the question around on him. What about you? Me? Well, yeah. Right now. Earlier today. Just gonna sniff my drink. Yep, Not just one. Countless bodies. What? When I was in high school, I had a pretty crazy job. Why? You know the Kumakura gang? I was hooked up to one of their phone fraud scams. Not just Semi. I just had to go collect the money from drop points and give it to the Kumakuras. It was an easy job. Eventually, I became friends with the higher-ups. They started taking me with them on jobs. What jobs? The target was always an elderly person from the country with no family. Um... Elderly folk who owned a lot of land, you know? Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. They live every boomers. day in yep. loneliness and desperation. Yeah, boomers, yep. You just have to be nice to them. That's all it takes. Mm. Guys would get to know the old people and they would set up an adoption process. After that, you just have to get them really drunk. Throw them in the tub full of hot water. <laughs> they pass. Just like that. What? Heart attack. Brain hemorrhage, or they simply go to sleep and drown. The police almost never investigated. They always looked natural, like they died of old age. So the adopted gang members would inherit the land. Then we sell it and make massive profits. I watched a lot of people get killed like that. And I've seen journalists get killed for getting too close to the truth. And now I'm telling you. So I Why am I telling you all this? Yeah, why? No, I'm a cop, right? Are you going to arrest me? Yeah, I am. For being stupid. I took a sip of my glass and didn't say anything for a while. You didn't do it yourself, right? No, I was always the lookout. But still... Date, I... Tears fell to the counter, unending. We didn't say another word until the ice in the glass had melted to nothing. You couldn't smell it anymore. Is- Oh shit, is the pointer emote still on the screen? Okay, it's not. Holy crap. 
sh the, the the guiding lines for what's gonna be. Where I just know it's Toronto. Be okay. Holy sh! <laughs> I was one. How's it go? Well, I could use a little help down there, if you know what I mean. I do not know what she means. Perhaps you should take her up on her offer. Oh, I thought I skipped something by accident. Absolutely not. All right. You're so cold, Mama. Hey, I'm over here. <sighs> hey, Mama. What's with the pizza, fish, and chips? People used to call me that on the internet all the time. Guess it's stuck. Pizza, fish, and chips. Ah, I see. Piece of fucking shit. Nice. I find it calming. Why is that? Don't ask me. I don't have anything else for you. Shouldn't it be pizza Sorry, fish sticks? Sorry, I'm not much help. No, don't worry about it. Can you come back again tonight? There's a regular here who is good friends with Ren. They should be here tonight. If you ask him, he might have some information for you. I'm sorry, I have a date tonight. with an idol. Sorry. Yes. I'll be waiting for you. In my... Pink suit. Bar suit. Oh, look at the stars. The stars are nice. Alright, Sejima so Residence, Cold Storage Warehouse. We're almost done with the stream, though. Um, I hope we get a recap after we do these. Let's go to the Cold Storage Warehouse. With Iba in my left eye socket, I walked into the Cold Storage Warehouse. I feel like Iba not believing us is kind of unacceptable. I feel like Iba and Date should have more of a trusting bond after being together so long. Maybe she does and she's just kind of hassling him or maybe she, maybe she wants to believe him but she genuinely just can't get there and kind of thinks maybe he's going crazy. I wonder if he has a history or something. I don't know. I feel like she's doing him a bit dirty here. But we'll see where it goes. I could see my breath. I looked around, shivering. Nothing seemed to change from last night though. You first arrived here yesterday at 9 p.m. At that time, lying on this workbench was... Iris's dead body, covered with a white cloth. Nice touch that we don't get like a visual recap of this because Alba wasn't there to see it. That's cool. But the second time... The corpse was gone. It was 11.25 p.m. But the body could not have simply vanished. It melted. Crime scene investigation was here before 11.25 p.m. It was a ghost. When did they arrive? According to the report, 10.30 p.m. After we finished sinking with So. It took them an hour and a half to get here? Correct. Why did it take them so long? Unknown. The report does not specify. Perhaps a result of outside influence outside influence there are numerous cardboard boxes on the shelves there is nothing abnormal that was the second time it looked like she had a different line show up before that one came up about them the visual glitch maybe or maybe just how it how it looked when it popped up shelves of cardboard boxes hi i'm Jermaimon. Iba, the jokes, you've got to stop. Hi, Drew, my mom. I'm, uh, A I'm forklift. Dead. It doesn't seem like it's in use. Okay. It was likely just left here. How many forks do they have? A forklift. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. The crane on the ceiling. Nothing has changed. It's a wooden box. There is nothing inside. Why is she saying all these things? There are only a few items on the shelf. It is likely that this warehouse isn't in regular use. In any case, there is nothing of note about the bench. Examining it will not reveal any further information. It's a workbench. There's nothing on it. 
A switchboard. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. That machine is used to cut ice. Do they store ice here? Ice cutting machine. Does it have wheels? Was it wheeled over in the other timeline? Or I say timeline, but it probably isn't. Where's the chocolate? Um, what does it want from me? Nice one, dog. Oh, okay. But finding nothing may, in fact, be something. What do you mean? I was just thinking out loud. Let's get going. Date, your temperature is dropping. The way that the game makes you inspect every single mundane object in the room, while Alba voices lines instead of it being silent narration, makes you feel how frustrated and desperate Date is with him being unsure of what he did saw and what has happened to him, and Alba's frustration and worry and concern for her partner, and she's trying to make him feel better by talking to him through the routine parts of the investigation have now become so important, even though there's no evidence to find. At this rate, they might find your body in here. This was one of the most best and subtle moments and scenes in all of gaming for how it really makes you feel the desperation that the character is feeling. Ludo narrative harmony is on full display in Al the Simonium Files. Most best. I'm doing an IGN bit! That was good writing because I was so making Sergio fun of it. Is a key person of interest in this case. Okay, we're in the car. We're in the car. We're at five hours. I think I'm. I think I am. I think I am. Ya done. I'm ya done. Also, writer, by the way, I ain't writing. I'm talking on stream. I'm riffing. I'm improving. Oh. All right, chat. Um, it's Friday, right? Comedian, by the way. I wish. Four streams, still no spoiler fan art, smiling face. Thanks, Balder. Thank you so much. What a cool dude. Go buy your fucking plunger. All right, so I'll be back on Tuesday. Uh, no stream Saturday, no stream Sunday. Um, no stream Monday this time, but uh, I don't know. I might go over to a five-day schedule instead of, instead of four days. Um... Right now, four days, five hours of stream is 20 hours a week, and I would like to get it closer to 30 if possible, but I don't know if that is going to be possible. Five days a week, six hours stream would be the way to get there. Um, I don't know. We'll see how the routine and everything um, pans out or whatever, but I think I think Tuesday is, is probably going to probably gonna do it. Uh, I don't know, like, this, does that give people time to catch up on the VODs over the weekend, and then we'll have, because I notice that with every stream, I know interest is going to dwindle on the game, people check out, but also I feel like people get behind on, on, on the playthrough, and then they, and they need time to catch up afterwards, so maybe it's okay, but maybe two days is enough. I don't know, if we do do five days a week, I don't know if I want to go, um, Tuesday, Saturday, or Monday, Friday. I definitely don't want to do Sunday. Sunday's out for sure. Sunday's right out. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. 
this your favorite weave game? Um, is 999 a weave game? Of course it is. Well, it's not a game. Uh, 999 would probably take. I really like 999. I thought that handled a lot of things well. It was very, very, very fun. Earlier. Let me save it. Oh no! The boss Earlier, the boss had three, three points, points of suspicion, suspicion against him, him and, and I, I agree, agree with, with her assessment. Her assessment. I don't have my headset on, so I read it out loud. You ever gonna play Red Dead Redemption 2? I streamed what, the the opening. I streamed it for like, I don't know, four hours. Uh, I didn't play it more after that. Eh, one day. I, I probably should have continued playing it, to be honest, because it was an important game. And as a game critic, uh, I should um, I should know that even more though even more than as a game critic as a game designer as a game dev you know I should play all the most important games to uh, to be up to date so I know how to how to make my own shit right <sighs> ever played mother 3 is that earthbound or is that a different one which one is earthbound I played earthbound when it came out uh, if Mother 3 is the other one after that, I haven't played it, no. Earthbound is Mother 2. I've played Mother 2, then I've played Earthbound. I've not played Mother 3. Nine 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 isn't weeb to be honest. Yeah, if there's if the game has and story has a certain level of classiness and coherence, uh, it ceases to be weeb shit. I agree. So it's hard to tell. So if that's the case, then I would say that my favorite weeb game is none of them, because yeah, once it becomes a weeb game, it's it's uh, devoid of um, any outstanding positivity that you can appreciate. What is going on with the with the weirdness in the, in the street here? See it? There's like a there's like a seam. Is that also shadows that are fucked up? I don't know what the hell's going on there. Ace Attorney. Again, I would say Ace Attorney probably qualifies for being so like classy enough that it is not weep shit. So, yeah, who knows? Life is strange. Weeping? Absolutely, yep. Yeah. Yoshi, what are you doing? Okay, I don't know what I deserve to get the DLLUJs here, but all right. All right, see you on Tuesday. Later, chat. Have a good one.